always throws up an error message whenever I'm um, <clears throat> starting the stream. Welcome everybody to the real Hatfield town. Let me transition over like so and we'll be able to see what we're doing today. <clears throat> this is Foot Manager 2021, believe it or not. This is actually the pre-game editor. Uh, as stated in my blog and also during the test stream that I did on Wednesday, I want to say. Um, I'm actually going to be creating the players and staff from scratch in this stream tonight. Ready for the start of the series, which... I mean, this is the start of the series, but ready for the proper start of the series, which is going to be taking place sometime uh, over the weekend, possibly. Very much depends on scheduling and stuff. So hopefully you guys can all see me. Hopefully you can all hear me. I might just whack the music on as well. There we go. Let me just flick that over. Of course I choose the really loud one first, don't I? Uh, that is really loud in my ears, actually. Why is that so loud? I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me still over the music. If not, let me know and I'll turn the music down. But yeah, this is the start of the real Hatfield Town, guys. Uh, and I'm going to get straight into it, pretty much. So, in terms of clubs, this is Hatfield here. Uh, Hatfield Town, Hatfield... Six letter name, I think I'm going to leave blank. The nickname, uh, I believe... Oh, uh, oh god, I'm going to... I was dreading having to pronounce your name at some point, bud. Apologies if I butcher it. Is it Wouter de Boer? Uh, let me know if I've got that right or not, please. Uh, welcome to the stream, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I need to double-check some of these things. I believe the nickname of the club is actually the, the Stags and not the Hats. Uh, hashtag is going to be Stags with a Z, because I know that I've seen. Uh, I also... Oh, that's a point. Somewhere I have... Uh, oh, I need to start recording as well, just in case the stream fails for whatever reason okay we should be recording now hello 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 if you're watching this on playback um somewhere i have a folder a file i should say that has the hatfield colors there it is the ui is small can't read i was dreading people saying that uh i don't think i can actually change no because i'm playing on a 4k monitor but scaling it down to 1080. Is it really? I suppose it is quite small, isn't it? Might have to bear with me on that one. Uh, where's my chat? I need to get the chat in a good place where I can see it. Howdy, Bob. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so Stags is the name. Extinct, no. Hatfield, Hatfield. Yep. England, England, England. So, year of founded is 1886 I believe because it's its 135th anniversary this year uh, amateur is probably correct for status currently um, golfing gamer hello good evening brother morale and reputation I think I might leave those for now I'll come back to them the the important bit here it's foreground color is all white These are things I can change in the future, but I am going to do them now just so that they are, in fact, done. Now, the background color is the background as this shirt color, the home shirt color, which in this case is... Uh, why did I do it as hex codes? Hang on. Watching on mobile, so it's just white pixels instead of letters. Ah, okay. Is anyone um, who's watching on... A device like a laptop or a PC is the UI really small for you as well or is it legible because it might just be a mobile thing uh, I need to do an RGB to uh, oh sorry I need to do a hex to RGB converter I think Google I thought Google had one apparently not uh, okay and then I need to grab this red here and stick you in so the RGB is this and I'm going to copy that into my text file so I don't have to worry about it again I might as well do that for the yellow and the purple that I'm going to be using in a second as well 
It's kind of annoying, actually, that it doesn't give you the choice to do both. Okay, copy and paste. And copy and paste. Let me check the chat again. Uh, the No, the UI in general, um, Tom. So this bit where my cursor... Can you see my cursor? Hang on. This bit. <laughs> the, uh, the text in the background and things like that. Okay, so the home color is... 242, assuming I've got this right, of course. 242, These are this is stuff I can change in the future as well, thankfully. 43 and 12. Does that look right? That looks all right. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so that's the details done. In terms of ownership, it is a chairman. I don't know about the ownership type, to be honest. I'm going to guess it's limited liability company. It's not member owned or it's certainly not a consortium or anything like that. Hey Rogue, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I'm getting messages. The music might be a little too loud still. Uh, oh god, how did I do that again? I think it's this. And then, where are we? Stream music. There we are. I'll turn it down just a smidge more. There you go. Let me know how that is. Small on laptop too, but can you do much about that? Not really. It's one of the downsides. I will be, when I'm in the game proper, I will be turning the resolution down uh, in the game to 1080, or at least 1440, just so you guys have a better chance of actually being able to read things properly because i i do know that this um oh i could stop outside takeovers do you know what i think i might do that um just so that you guys can actually read what's on the screen because i know that the last series uh the youthful hatfield town the ui was very very small and that's something that i'm trying to do with um all my videos at the moment is make the ui a little bit more legible for you guys so in terms of the stadium uh, it says Gosling Sports Park here. That is not Hatfield Stadium anymore. So let me see if I can find Hatfield. There it is. Birchwood Leisure Centre. Okay. Training ground is the same. But I'm going to... Actually, it might not be the same. But I'm going to assume it's the same. So I'm going to leave it. Attendance. I'm going to leave all these numbers as they are for now. Uh, youth coaching, youth facilities. I am going to tweak those a little bit, but I'm going to come back to those if I remember. Finances, I'm pretty much going to leave as is as well, because this should all be set up uh, at the beginning, I believe. Ah, this is... Okay. Number of season ticket holders, you change it in the finance section. I was wondering about that. All right, kits and colours. So, oh, we have icons, do we? Okay, that's cool then. So, home kit is uh, hoops. Where are we? It's five hoops. One, two, three. That one's four. That one's actually that one's also four. I mean, that one's close enough. We'll go with this one. And then, yeah, the back is the same as the front. Then we got the white, the red. The outline is. What is the outline? Again, I have my folder somewhere where I can see that. How we how we are ugh, can't speak now. How are we with the music now? Is it still too loud, too quiet? It's quite loud for me, but um, what I hear isn't necessarily what you guys hear. What am I looking for? Kits. Ah, oh, it is a white outline. Cool. So the foreground, background, outline. That's what I want. Is white. And then the number color is white. 
but has a black outline. There we go. Right, where's the chat again? Let's get the chat back. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that's the home shirt. Now we're going to do the shorts, which is basically the same. Uh, I don't think there's anything worth changing here, actually. So we're going to go, whoops. White with red. And then uh, outline is also... Actually, I think outline is red on the shorts. And then the number color is white with black outline. I don't think we have numbers on the shorts at this level. So you're not probably not going to see them anyway. Uh, right, so that's that. Actually, no, the shorts are white, aren't they? Hang on. <laughs> the shorts are white. I'm an idiot. It's the other way around. I, I thought something looked wrong there. So you are that. You are that. There we go. And then the socks are also... Oh, no, the socks are red. I swear it gets confusing. The really confusing thing is the fact that you... The foreground one is the like the details colour. And then the background... Actually, it kind of makes sense when you say it out loud, I suppose. But yeah, it's like that. And then outline... No, I'm just going to make it white. There we go. George, hello. Welcome, welcome. Big day today with the launch of the series. Very, very excited. Looking forward to this very much. I've been nervous all day about this. Nervous all day, as my family can attest. Uh, what is it? It was white with red, I think, I had on FM20 for this. Like that. That looks right. And then outline, I'm going to go with red. Uh, outline used for team logo. Yeah, red, red should be fine. Cool. So that's the home kit done. Now we're going to do the away kit. Hasn't got third kit listed. I guess maybe there's nothing in there at the moment, and that's why. Either that or I've stumbled across a change in the game. Who knows? Uh, let's get... So it's... It's a yellow shirt, black shorts, yellow socks. I've got to remember that. Yellow shirt, black shorts, yellow socks. And I'm going to move this notepad file over slightly so I can see it behind the chat. So yeah, the... Um, I guess it's black here. And then this one is... Uh, 244... 239... And 33. There we go. Oh, lovely. And then black outline. And then the number color, I think, is the same as the home kit, where it's white with black outline. Yes. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, this bit's done. So now we go here, and that's fine. And then you are the yellow with the black. And then I'll do yellow there as well. And then the number color again is white with black. So how's everyone doing? Looking forward to the weekend? Had a good week even? I've, I've had a bit of a, a week in many regards. I've been working on some stuff in the background, working on some projects, which I still can't talk about, so I don't really know why I'm talking about them. But um, mostly been gearing up for this, to be honest, and uh, getting excited about this. As I said the other day, this is huge for me personally to be able to do this. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this. Is that the right way around? I'd say that's the right way around. And then outline, I'll just have black again. There we go. Now, third kit. I guess, yeah, I'll just add a third kit. Now, this third kit will look very familiar. So, was it shirt, shorts, socks, and then text? Uni returns next week. Is it, um, I was about to say spring break, then I remember we're not American. 
But is it like winter break kind of thing? I don't think I got that much time off, to be honest, when I was at uni. Ah, face to face. Gotcha. So you go back with the schools. Schools and unis. You looking forward to it? You nervous? Let's try to remember which way the sash goes here. This isn't actually a sash. If you wanted to see the um, the kit... Actually, you, you might even see it in the game at the end of the stream. But um, basically, it's, it's like three diagonal stripes going across. And you're about to see some very familiar colours. So the foreground is 255... Zero. Zero. Oh, I chose the two sashes by mistake. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Ah, okay, George. I get you. What's it like um, studying from home during this? Because, I mean, me personally, I know I would struggle to stay motivated. I'd get distracted a lot. That's why I ended up with a YouTube channel. Because um, I spent some time at home when I was studying. And, uh, well, I had some time off uni for a while. And I ended up with a YouTube channel like this. So, you can see how well it went for me. Where am I? White for the number. And then black for the outline. That should make it stand out. There we go. Again, familiar colours, you might recognise them. That is the M4J blue and the M4J red. Shorts, I'm going to go with uh, this red as the foreground. Blue as the background. I think it's blue. I did for the shorts. Hang on. Constantly referring to my other documents here. Yeah, everything's blue, pretty much, apart from the detailing. Uh, outline, white, and then the number colour is white on black. Let me get the chat up again. It is harder to study. Yeah, I can imagine. I can really imagine. I, I did, Have they announced anything to do with um, like extra time for students, or um, you know what the what the grade boundaries are going to be like with the? I mean, grade boundaries for uni don't really change that much, to be honest. But um, at schools, I think they did announce something, didn't they, to do with was it teacher assessments instead of exams? I don't know if they've announced anything similar for. Uh, for unis. Alright, there we go for the actual kits. Do I need to change anything here with that? No. So it has got third kit. That's cool then. Alright, goalkeeper home. So we only need three for this. Shirt, shorts, socks. And socks. So the shirt... When people are speaking or asking, quick. oh god, yeah, the Zoom calls or Teams or whatever it is you're studying on. Try not to talk over people. God, that must be torture as well. Yeah, I don't envy. I don't envy anyone at the moment who's having to study from uh, from home. Uh, Hat for the town kits. I shut the window, not realizing I still needed it for this. So it's white. <clears throat> ah, yeah. So. This one, I don't think I can recreate this accurately in the game. I chose this one, I think, before. I really wish they would introduce more kit designs. I might not even need to do this, actually. I, I might have missed a step. Uh, so, it's the white there. And then for this bit here, it is... Oh, God. I've got so many windows open, all overlapping each other. Right, so the purple for the goalkeeper home kit, which... No, wait. Sorry. Goalkeeper away kit uh, is the purple. The goalkeeper home kit is just yellow. So I've done this wrong already. So it's uh, it's this yellow. And then it's white. Yeah, white outline. And then the number color, again, is pretty much the same as the away kit itself. So the home goalkeeper kit is the same as the away first team kit. There we go. And then shorts. Or is it? It's white. Yellow. And then white again. 
<clears throat> you could at one point apply for a two-week extension. Not sure if that's still a thing. Uh, that used to be a thing back when I was at uni as well. I'm not sure if that's new. You could get a uh, special dispensation? No. Oh, what's the word? It's like three words. Something, something, circumstances. Because I had to apply for it in my final year. Um, serious adverse circumstances. That's the one I was looking for. And I think as part of that, I had a month at the end of my final year to do extra work. But I know that you can also get two-week extensions. They might have had a, an extra one for COVID reasons, which was applicable to everyone rather than just um, students with adverse circumstances. I mean, let's be honest. COVID is an adverse circumstance to pretty much everyone right now. So you can't single people out. going to be strange next week as the rest of my class are in lesson. I'll join them via TV. <laughs> It'll be a bit like, uh, you know, that episode of Modern Family where Phil's on the iPad on the Segway thing rolling around. It's going to be a bit like that. God, the music's just got really loud in my ear again. Uh, right. So this kit is going to be the pinstripe one. This one. And then the purple is... 52, 12, 74. I did do a podcast episode once upon a time about uni life and what it was like. Uh, not publicly available anymore, sadly. I imagine it was just plain up, straight deleted. But I might do another one. Uh, I've always fancied launching my own podcast on my channel of some kind. I might do a uni episode of that. Because I reckon my uni experience was pretty unordinary, shall we say. Uh, in terms of the courses I studied and things like that. So I reckon there's a few little tips and tricks that I can pass on. It's one of the reasons why I did it for my previous company. was I felt like I had some, some stories to tell. Uh, it's a real shame that you can't watch them anymore, actually. Good podcasts. I've still got them somewhere. Mainly for professional portfolio reasons. Right. So the kits are technically done. 45 slides. Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it's funny how... I mean, unis are like on the cutting edge of technology and things like that but it did make me laugh when I was at uni just how many times lectures were conducted using clear plastic and a marker pen and an overhead projector more than you think let's put it that way so I've got white socks for both keeper kits I believe that is what I have oh no I did you the wrong way around derp Alrighty, we are done with the kits. So now, uh, I think one of the next things I want to look at is the stadium. Because what, what have I got here? Right here, nothing. I could add, actually, members of the board from this, but I'm going to do it through the... Pla actually, mm, hang on. Oh, okay, no, yeah, these are people that already exist. Gotcha. So I'm going to do it uh, a different way. And then relationships i don't know about any rivalries i could ask john about this in the future and add them in later uh john's the chairman by the way you'll hear me talk about him a lot i'm sure i'll ask him about club links and affiliations and things like that as well league history so i'm gonna leave this blank because i again don't know much about the history or anything so i think I think this is all done. Would you ever do a stream in the future with Patreon supporters joining you to chat on the stream? Yes, most definitely. Um, I actually rejigged my Patreon this week. For those of you who are patrons, it shouldn't affect you guys too much. As always, you've had stuff added to your tiers rather than taken away. Um, but yeah, I, I want to get more people involved. That's the whole point of not just this series, but the channel as a whole is to try and get more people involved. So um, yeah, any excuse to get people on stream, whether it's playing games, whether it's just chatting in general. If I do a podcast, for example, then it won't just be 
because uh, there's podcasts where people get other influencers on and i don't have anywhere near that level of pulling power uh so getting people on and just chatting in general about things so whether it's railways football anything theme parks anything related to my channel anything that i have a vague interest in i don't want to step on anyone's toes though so i'm going to try not to do things too niche try and keep it a bit more broad uh now where where are we at with the hatfield supporter profile do you reckon loyalty i'm gonna bump that up same with passion we're a passionate lot us hatfield onions i don't think that's how you say it at all patience we're very I'm, i personally am very impatient uh so i'm gonna leave that at default affluence temperament and expectations i mean expectations i'm gonna put like a 14 temperament i think these three i'm just gonna leave as default i can't even remember what affluence means half the time Okay, so that's me done for editing the club for now. There are things that I'm going to come back and change in the future, like I said. Uh, so let's search Birchwood, because I'm going to do some tweaks here too. Right, one of the things I want to change the most is the expansion capacity. So currently it's 5,000. There have been plans in real life to build a new stadium on the site of where Hatfield currently play, which is Birchwood Leisure Centre, as you can see. Um... I don't know what the plan capacity of that would be, but I've seen artist impressions of the main stand. I reckon at least a thousand, two thousand people in that stand, and that's like a very basic structure. So I'm thinking we could possibly expand the stadium to like seven and a half thousand, maybe more. So I'm going to go with seven and a half thousand for now. Again, I think this could be changed in the future. Current capacity. A thousand, no seating. That sounds fine to me. Owner type, uh, I believe it's owned by the council. So I'm going to change that. Actually, it might be private. It depends on who owns the leisure centre these days, because it it like all the leisure centres around here chop and change. Uh, the dimensions, I'm not going to fiddle around with too much. Uh, deterioration rate fast. That does sound accurate, to be honest and latitude longitude i'm not changing anything like that what's this one state poor environment basic so nearby stadium i'm going to put the the lamex for stevenage actually no i'm going to leave this blank as well because i think it does um it chops and changes where you relocate to based on your longitude and latitude and also your club size and expected um, capacity and things like that. Grimsby's after a new stadium. Yeah, Grimsby. Uh, Grimsby, Everton, I think Southend are in the process of moving to a new stadium as well at the moment. Uh, there's a few. And even this season, Brentford and Wimbledon moved into new stadiums this season. Both of them look awesome. The Brentford one is sad because I've been to Griffin Park a couple of times. Uh, I'm going to miss that stadium because it was a really fun one to go to. Uh, but the Wimbledon stadium, it's nice that they've moved back to Wimbledon. And it's a freaking awesome looking stadium. I'll give it that. It is a very, very nice looking stadium. Right. I think this is done as well then. I'm going to actually jump back to Hatfield. My phone's buzzing as well. I'll check that in a second. So yeah, I'm going to change some of the things to do with uh, this. Ah, John's just messaged me with the uh, League Rivals. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. So, some of these numbers I'm going to bump up a little bit higher than perhaps they would be in real life. Mainly because... Um, it's it's how I worked with the youth youthful Hatfield Town last season. So corporate facilities, I really don't know what they are. Do they get like a a free half hour around activity world or something? I don't know. That's the soft play area, by the way. I think it's not even called that anymore. But when I was younger, um, it was all about activity world. If you hadn't, if you didn't have a birthday party at activity world, you hadn't lived basically. Youth recruitment. I mean, Hatfield do have a lot of uh, impetus on youth right now. Um, is it Wellen, Wellen Albion? Uh, they've teamed up with ex youth, well, still youth team. A bit like what Hashtag have been doing with, uh, you know, creating 
feeder teams like youth teams that feed into the senior team it's a really really cool idea because kids get to play saturday sunday football whatever it might be they also do training camps over half term and things like that and then ultimately you're you're looking for the next bright talent youth facilities oh i'm going to be generous and say a 10 and that is me being quite generous youth coaching i imagine hatfield have very good youth coaches so i'll give it at least a 10 on that i'm happy with these numbers Youth importance, I would make that a 20, but I, I don't want it to lock me out from signing players older than the age of 18, for example. So I'm going to leave that at like a... Actually, I might bump that down to a 17 rather than an 18. Corporate facilities, as I said, pretty much zero. Training, um, same as the... Same as the, um, the stadium. So, I mean, I might start that on a 10 as well, just so the players have got something. You know, we'll have some bibs and cones to run around with. Minimum attendance. Ah, yes, this is something to refer to. So let me actually get my... Oh, God. So John's given me some good info here. I'm going to read this out on stream because uh, I did say I would talk about Hatfield whilst I'm going through this. And it's only fair. So support is normally 60 to 80 people. So I'm going to say attendance at least here. I'm going to put it at 70. So it's halfway. Minimum, I'm going to say uh, like 30. 30 just so we have got some maximum is currently a thousand but that's the limit limited by the stadium size so that makes sense training ground as i said i'm going to leave blank uh so league rivals are sandridge and coney heath uh, and also well garden city so relationships rival clubs i'm not going to put like we hate each other's guts or anything like that but um yeah local rivalry i would say or league rivalry i think there is a league competitive rivalry there we are. So, Sandridge, which is over towards St. Albans Way. Sandridge Rovers. I might come back to that one, actually, because they might not actually be in the game. Coney Heath. There's Coney Heath. Make sure I'm not choosing the reserve team by mistake. So say that's a competitive rivalry. I don't think I'm going to make it 100. I might make it like 50. 50, uh, maybe 75. Like, we want it to be newsworthy at least. And then another competitive rivalry with Welling Garden City, which is technically where I was born, but don't hold that against me. I mean, I tell most people I'm from Welling Garden City because it is a technically a nicer town than Hatfield. Uh, again, can I increase the size of this? There we go. Welling Garden City. And again, I'll, I'll make that like... They're slightly more local than Coney Heath, so I'm going to say 80. Uh, Hatfield United probably hate us the most, but they're in a lower league. We look forward, not backwards. <laughs> yeah, I've heard stories about this that rivalry. I might make that historic rivalry. Yes, I have heard stories. Uh, Hatfield United. There they are. So this is good. I've never had rivalries before. Not rivalries, at least, it coded into the game. I've had rivalries where I've like fallen out with... Like the other day, I was talking about falling out with the Forest Green manager and things like that. It's not called Activity World anymore, is it? No, it's like Jumping Gym or something stupid. Like, really stupid. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, Sandridge. I'll, I'll look for Sandridge again. There was a Sandridge Reserves, or Rovers, I think it was. If need be, I'll just do that. Uh, I can't spell. G-E. Sandridge Rovers. It does say Sandridge. I think there is only one Sandridge around here at least. So I'll put them in. And again, I'll bump this one down to... I don't know. I mean, I keep using round numbers. So let's not have that at 75. Let's have that like at 77. And instead of 80 here, we'll have like 83. Uh, 100 is 100. You know, you can't really change that one. And then this one, I'm going to make it like a 60. I was about to say a really bad number then. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say 72. 
Uh, 18 youth teams Hatfield have and a little kickers from age 1 to 6. So that's, you know, when you first learn about um, playing football. Like, this is a ball. It rolls on the floor. I remember doing things like that when I was at primary school. It's really cool. Uh, that's from next season, actually. Sorry, 18 youth teams from next season. Under-13s were the under-17 Youth Europa League champions in Portugal. Bloody hell, I didn't know that. <laughs> did not know that. That's really cool. How did I not know? Right, hang on. I need to go back and change some numbers here. If we've got a team here that the under-13s were the under-17 Youth Europa Cup champions, we're going to have to change some numbers here. So youth facilities, that's just bumped that up to a 12 for a start. Uh, youth recruitment, I mean, they're going to stay the same. Corporate facilities, youth coaching. Come on, guys. We're winning trophies. You can't you can't knock that. All right, George, no worries. I'm going to be here for uh, probably another hour and a half, maybe longer. So feel free to come back if you can. Uh, oh, that's why they were Wellham Albion. They're a town team now. That's cool. I really like the way that you've brought the, uh, the youth team, local youth teams in. Um, it's something that I, I wish more professional football clubs would do now as well. Stevenage do do it to an extent. They do, um, they, I know they offer tickets, free tickets to the local school teams and things like that. But it's definitely something that the, actually, I don't want the bigger teams to do it because I like the fact that the, the smaller teams are actually running those initiatives because it gets more people, more families through the gate at the smaller clubs. And I think the smaller clubs need it more than the bigger clubs right now. So, uh, favorite people dislike people i don't think there's anyone there club legends club icons possibly current affiliations are there any teams that um hatfield have teamed up with above or below that might be worth putting in might come back to that one as well uh right while i'm waiting for that oops actually yeah i'm gonna back out of my phone for a second let's start adding in some people shall we this is what I was most excited about. This is what I imagine people at the club are most excited about as well. Because we're focusing now entirely on real life people. Players, coaches, managers, chairman, whoever it might be. Real people involved with the club who are now going to be put into the game. So let's start with a non-player. So let's go with... Uh, First name. Let's start with Mr. Chairman, shall we? Oops. Would help if my microphone wasn't covering half of my keyboard so I couldn't actually see what I was typing. There we go. Common name. Don't need to worry about that. Male. Ethnicity. White. Oh, Northern European, I guess. I could have sworn that White British was one. No? Alright. Northern European it is. Uh, where's the chat? There we go. I've just seen what George said about timetables in TF2. Might be a good time to get into TF2 now then with the timetable mod. That'd be really cool. That's one of the things I've been holding back on actually because they didn't have one. Uh, hair colour. Ah, John, what colour is your hair? I should have included that in the... Um... And hair length. Also skin tone... Oh, I don't know. What's an average skin tone for white British? Something like... Somewhere between two and three, I think. I might go with three. Skin tone example. Right, date of birth. I'm going to keep quiet for this. Because no one, no one, and I mean no one, especially when you're as old as I am, no one likes to have their age read out on a live stream. There we are. City of birth, uh, Welling Garden City. You'll see that a lot as well. It's where I'm from. Whoops. There we go. Welling Garden City. And then East of England, England, England. That's fine. Everything here. Don't need to worry about that. International data. Don't need to worry about that. Contract, I think I'm going to leave that for now. Non-player data. Right, so this is where I'm, uh, I'm digging into the stats that they filled out for me. So we've got things like 
buying players? Is that here somewhere? There we go. So buying players is a 3 out of 5, which is a 15 out of 20. Uh, eccentricity is also a 15. Skinhead. All right. No worries. No hair. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Actually, I'll change that now. Otherwise, I'll forget. Uh, so, hair length is... Sorry, John. You're bald, I'm afraid. Not me. It's the game saying that. Not me. Right. Eccentricity, 15. Business. Where's business? Right down here. Oh, God. I wish they had lines on the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I did get it right. Uh, that is a... 16. Have I done my maths right here, actually? Hang on. Oh, it's 12s. Sorry, not 15s. It's 12s. Why is eccentricity not... Oh, not 120. No, no, no. Is it a maximum of 10 or something? Why does it keep going back to zero? Okay. Business worked at least. Negotiating is also a 16. Uh, interference, that's low. That's good. Makes my life a little bit easier. And that is, what, two fours are eight. Patience is also an eight. Uh, resources, 16. Very nice. And then physiotherapy, sports science, don't need to worry about that. I think that's it for the main sort of chairman stats. I might add some other ones in here just... Which I don't think there are any. Current ability, potential ability. So these are going to be... Like recommended current ability, 93 it says. And then potential, what do you reckon, 200? Uh, chairman. So it actually says recommended is... Why can't I change that? Oh, I guess because it's telling me what it thinks the recommend... Yeah, okay. Current reputation. I'm going to say like 500. World reputation is going to be pretty low to start with. But um, local... Like home reputation. I'm going to say quite high. Like a thousand. Goes up to ten thousand. Oh, it's... Why does it keep changing the numbers I'm putting in? I don't get it. Okay. The game does some weird things sometimes. We just have to accept that. So all attributes. So actually, I can change it from here in future. That might be easier when it comes to... Sorting stuff out. So it wants you to be a coach. And you are a goalkeeping coach as well, actually. So I could do that. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this then. We'll add the next person. And that is the manager. The current manager, I should say. Uh, and that is Lewis... Johnson. Now, I mentioned this on Wednesday, but I'll mention it again. Because, obviously, I'm taking over as the manager. Uh, the plan is to have possibly Lewis, who's the man current manager, and Chris, who's the assistant manager, have both of them be joint assistant managers. I think that is possible in the game. Uh, hair color and length, again, I don't know. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, so, yeah, ethnicity. I've got here... Mixed. Mixed race. So then skin tone is possibly going to be... Somewhere around here. These aren't people you're going to see very often in the game. So it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. 
But for my sake, I would like it to be accurate. And for their sakes, to be honest, I'd like it to be accurate as well. Uh, 90... No, I'm not going to read out. I said I wouldn't read out dates of birth, didn't I? I did say that. And that includes my own, because I'm very sensitive about my age these days. City of birth. Welling Garden City. Again, it makes my life easier. Uh, everything there, I think, is fine. So, person data. Did I do this for... Ah, okay, hang on. Oh, my Google's talking to me now. Stop. Everyone wants to talk to me now. Unbelievable. Also, I haven't looked at the chat in ages. Okay, no one's talking right now. That's fine. So, people. Name is... This could be hard to find people now because there's a lot of people. Uh... Did I just make you? Yeah. I might... Mm, I might have to put something in just so I can find people again when I'm searching for them. Because I've got three members of staff currently and I've got like 22 players or something to, to keep track of. So yeah, attributes. That's what I needed to change. Uh, so these are numbers that I didn't ask for when I was doing the... Um, the the forms that I asked people to fill in mainly because I thought didn't want to overload people uh, too much as well obviously but um, where where are we at so I'm trying to do two things at once here one two three four five there we are uh, and I just thought it, it gets a bit too technical when you start asking for like what would you rate yourself out of five for sportsmanship. It's kind of a personal question, you know. Do you give the play uh, the ball back to the players when there's a throw in, or do you just throw it down the touchline and l let them run after it? Things like that. Do you dive when you're in the box? Yeah. So adaptability. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess for these based on people's roles at the club and things like that. Uh, STM. Hello. Welcome. 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 Ambition. Well, that's gonna be very high. For sure. Uh, controversy, pretty low. I don't want to start any fires here. Loyalty, I'm also going to say it's pretty high. Pressure, I don't really know what that means. Does that mean coping under pressure or does that mean like putting pressure on other people? Professionalism, also very high. Sportsmanship, again, I don't want to light any fires here. And temperament, I'm going to say pretty good. Pretty good, from what I've seen, pretty good. Jaden, captain of Hatfield Town Warriors. Ah, welcome. Yes. This is what I was hoping for, that we'd actually get people from the club involved in the series. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Club vision. I've never... I don't think I've ever used this before. Ah, yeah, no, that's fine. Don't need to worry about any of this. Uh, can I delete this? Is there a delete button somewhere? Uh, oh yeah, remove. Derp. Right at the top. Okay, so I think um, career plans. Again, I wouldn't want to guess someone else's career path. Contract, I'm going to leave blank for now. Roll scores. So this should, this should now be higher for chairman. So if I went back to... Where was it? Was it general? I mean, it's still saying coach. I'm just going to go with it, to be honest. I'm just going to go with it. I've put here, Chairman, high. So, we'll see. So, now back to the database. I'm going to start speeding this process up in a bit as well, once um, I get my, my rhythm going. Doing the non-players is a lot harder. I've just realised there's probably going to be like 6 million people named Johnson in this game. Uh, doing non-players is a lot harder than doing players. Because there's, there's a lot more sort of hidden stats that you got to look out for. So, uh, for hair. Lewis, dark hair. That's what I'm doing now, isn't it? Uh, so, let's go with dark brown. Oh, 
Golfing Gamer with the bits. Thank you very much. Let's see if it lands in the tip jar this time. Oh, that's not nice. It just bounced off the rim. And hair length. Won the Youth Europa Cup in 2017. I think, I mean, that's something... You almost want to put that on the door as you walk in, to be honest. That's such a cool thing to have. I'm going to go with, like, short hair. I've probably got that completely wrong. And hair colour example. I think, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Um, so, attributes... So you are the manager, but I'm going to put you as higher. I'm going to put you like a 15 for manager and hope you never leave. Actually, no, I'm going to keep you as a 10 for manager and hope you never leave. Because that would be a nightmare. And then uh, I'm going to put like 15 for assistant manager. So you're only just wanting to be assistant over, over manager. And I think that's all at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and then these ones here... I want a nice, versatile, adaptable backroom staff as well as out on the pitch. So I'm going to keep things pretty high. Pretty ambitious as well. Controversy again, I wouldn't, I'm not the right person to be asking about that. Loyalty. Now, I don't want my backroom team leaving, basically. So I'm going to keep that number. I'm not going to make it 20 because that's too easy. But I'm going to keep that number pretty high. So like 17, 18, something like that. I'm going to make this one 17. Pressure, again... Not really sure. Professionalism, I wouldn't like to comment. Sportsmanship. Actually, sportsmanship, I left that at 20. I'm going to bump that up because that's making you a good sportsman, having a higher sportsmanship level. And I think that's what it should be. Uh, wow, we've got lots of people joining now. Raymond FN, welcome. And uh, Volts as well, welcome. Let me know if you want me to use your real names or your YouTube names. Um, either is fine by me. I also just whacked my microphone, so apologies for that. Yeah, professionalism, that's going to be quite high. I'm going to say like a 16, 17, something like that. Remember, these are out, actually, I think these are out of 20. I hope they're out of 20. Otherwise, I've just created a really bad atmosphere in the club. Uh, so non-player data, so general, current ability, what's it recommending? It's currently recommending one, but then again, I haven't actually put any tactical attributes or, st or anything in yet. So to go back to this, uh, what are we doing? Assistant manager. Technically you're the manager, but we're doing assistant manager. So we got determination is a 16. Where's that? Non-tactical? General? All. I'm just gonna do all. Where's determination? It's always in different, every screen I look at, it's in different places. There it is, determination. Whew. Uh, and that is a 16 out of 20. Level of discipline. Oh, God. Where's that? LLL. I thought I saw it then. Thought I saw it then. Come back to that one. Man management. There's that one. Man management is 20. I wouldn't expect anything less. Motivating is also 20. Obviously, so the stats that the guys have provided for me here, <clears throat> they are still going to be modified um, once the game starts. But it is really cool to have some high stats to begin with and then have it sort of lower itself down gently as the, uh, the game starts. It's all to do with current and potential abilities. Uh, so what have we got? Fitness... I didn't put fitness for this one. No, I did not. So mental is a 20. It's good to have headstrong people. Uh, tactical 16. No, that's technical. Sorry. That's also 16. That's fine. Why is that suddenly above? Tactical comes before technical. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Sorry. A comes before E. I was looking at this, the H and the T then. Also, I'm going to do a quick... Uh, save. I'm actually going to save this as a brand new name. Um, I'm just going to call it like Hatfield. 
Town 2021. Something like that. Save. Just in case I make, like completely mess this up, I can go back to the original file still. So, tactical, technical, judging player ability. We've got a 20 for that as well. Oh, God, where's that? There's judging staff ability. Is there like a... A filter? No? Judging potential... It'll be up here somewhere. There you go. Judging player ability. That is a... 20. Two new joiners are part of my team. Cool. So the Hatfield Town Warriors are in the stream right now. Welcome, guys. I think I've had some people in the past from um, from the club get in touch. Not necessarily join the, uh, the, the chat or anything, but I think someone commented on a video once um, to say they were part of the club. I'm just reading along the line here as well, making sure I'm doing the right things. Okay. So now I think I can go back to... Did I skip one out, by the way? I did, didn't I? I skipped out... Um... Level of Discipline. Which is here. And that is a 20 as well. Awesome stuff. Cool. Cool. So then, uh, roll scores. It should have assistant manager as the highest. Yes, it does. So if I now go back to, was it general? There you go, assistant manager. So current ability, it recommends a current ability of 158. I don't know if that's good or not. What does the, hang on, let me just check what this goes up to. 200. So that's a pretty good, that is a pretty good assistant manager. Um, I'm going to say your focus coaching style is going to be more attacking as well because your attacking stat was higher. So I think that makes sense. No bans. We're not going into that. Um, reputation, I think I'm going to make sort of the same. So 500 and 1,000. I think I can change these. Uh, oh, 200, 200 apparently. Okay. guess we're sticking with those then. Right. Uh, so, tactical attributes, non-tactical attributes. I think, is there stuff here I should be changing? Yeah. I feel like this stuff should be part of it as well. So, attacking. I'm just going to check if it's out of 20. Yes, it is. So, you're an attacking coach. I'm going to make attacking be part of your thing. Determination, directness. I want directness to be quite low, but with the ability to, to use it if necessary. I, if it's what I think it is, of course. Uh, and then we've got physicality of play. I mean, 11. Take a stab in the dark on that one. Flamboyancy. Now, I want to play with flair. But that doesn't necessarily mean the players themselves are going to have some flair. So, I'm going to put that probably like halfway house. Nice little 10. Flexibility. That's going to be quite high. Because, I mean, non-league football as a whole, you've got to be pretty flexible. With players joining and leaving all the time. And players not being able to necessarily attend matches because of full-time jobs. That kind of thing. Um, and also flexibility during matches, you know, if players get injured and stuff. Tactical knowledge. Let's put that at like a 14. I think these are stats that are also affected by the modifier, so that will come into play. Fast tempo and then width. I mean, it's nice to get out wide on the wings, cross the ball in the box, things like that. And then non-tactical. Is there anything else here that I should put in? Some of these numbers, again, I think I can tweak these numbers once the, the game starts. So, like, coaching tact... Oh, I've done those ones anyway. Uh, working with youngsters is something that I will add in now, actually. Uh, Hatfield, again, pretty youthful team. People my age and younger. So I'm going to say like a 14 for that. Squad rotation. We are going to have to rotate the squad quite a lot for thing for reasons that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. 
versatility again. You want that uh, 16. Bump that up quite high. Mind games. Now, are we going to be a Ferguson type team? Or are we going to be... I mean, who's nice in management? Who does everyone say? I mean, Carlo Ancelotti's quite nice. Bumble Believe, welcome to the stream. I'm going to say like a 10 for mind games. We're not going to go too overboard. And the reason I care about this for my assistant managers is sometimes I'm going to be sending them in to my press conferences and things, my interviews. Uh, hardness of training, we'll put that as a nice round 15. And, I mean, eccentricity is not the most important thing in the world. And buying players is not relevant. So, role scores. Still got assistant manager. We've also got coach and manager. Uh, head of player development. That's new, I think, for this year. So, we'll see about that in a little bit. Okay. So, we're going to add another non-player. And this is going to be the current assistant manager who's going to now be the, the joint assistant manager. And this is Chris Jones. Also, when I turn to look at my screen like this, can you still hear me properly? Or is it like, does it go, does my voice go really quiet? I still haven't quite got to grips with this microphone. Uh, Chris is also from Welling Garden City and is Northern European. And is uh, I won't say hair length. We'll just we'll just do that. Skin tone. I'm going to say again between two and three ish. Date of birth. I'm not going to read out loud. Um. There we go. City of Birth is another Welling Garden City. So the whole coaching team is from Welling Garden City, which is awesome. Makes my life a lot easier. So person data. Uh, so yeah, job preferences, assistant manager. We're going to bump that up again to... You're the actual assistant manager, so we'll have you as a 20. And then we'll also have like coach at 15. Just in case we do so, like rotate the, uh, the staff lineup throughout the series. We can keep people on, but move them into different positions within the club. I think that will work a lot better. Um, I might... Did I do fitness coaching and things for these guys? I suppose I didn't. I might do that for, for um, Chris here, though. Because the, the coaching team is going to be teeny tiny at the start. So we're going to have to focus on having someone work on that side of things. Welcome back, Bob. Nice to see you again. So yeah, adaptability. John was telling me some stuff in my chat with him just now as well. Great squad rotation between the first team and under 23s. They mix. Lots of youth get opportunity. See, so yeah, that's that's what I was doing last season with um, FM, and definitely what I'm going to be doing a lot this season as well. Some of the players that I create, depending on their age and their ability, might get put in the under 23 squad to begin with. But I'm pretty much going to do a purge where everyone in the youth squad is going to be moved up into the first team squad for pre-season, and then we'll uh, we'll start looking at. Um, obviously, the, the players who are real will be staying with the club throughout the first two, three, four seasons. But um, even other players who have been generated uh, in the game might get a chance in the first team as well. Particularly when the first youth intake comes in, which is something I am looking forward to. Something else I will mention, by the way. Um, with new gens in the game, uh, as players get promoted from the youth team in real life to the first team next season, when next season starts... Uh, I will start renaming regens, youth gens, uh, new gens, whatever you want to call them, and adapt them to actually create that person in real life in the game. Uh, so no one's going to get booted out for a regen, basically. They will they'll get turned into, or regen will get turned into a real person. Anyway, adaptability. Let's go with quite high for that as well. Ambition. I want everyone to be ambitious at the club, but also loyal. So you want to get where you, you you want to get the club that you're at into the Premier League rather than just get yourself into the Premier League. Uh, I'm just choosing random numbers here, pretty much between like 14 and 20 uh, for most of these. Sportsmanship always high. 
wouldn't expect anything else and temperament i'm going to say is also pretty high so assistant manager that's all good so now to go into uh all attributes down here now i'm going to scooch across to the stats again so let me select the right row so i know who i'm working with determination is 12. I can't ever find it. There it is. It's because it is alphabetical order, but it's by section. So it's got like all the general ones first, then it's got the tacticals, then it's got the non-tacticals. So it goes down through the alphabet like four or five times going down here. So finding determination could be any of these lists. Level of discipline. I still don't know where that is here, but I do know where that is. Uh, he says. Nope. I knew I was going to do the wrong one. Here. Level of discipline uh that is a 16 man management which is very valuable for an assistant manager 20 motivating uh not mind games although that is going to be part of it uh that's a 16 it's really like i did an engineering degree i didn't graduate on my engineering degree but i did an engineering degree and sometimes just doing simple things like multiplying something by four suddenly becomes so difficult. 16 for attacking coaching. Defending coaching is also a 16. Good. Nice to see. Uh, I'm actually going to give you a fitness rating though. And I'm going to give you a fitness rating of like 14, 15. Because fitness coaching is going to be something very, very important. Uh, and I, again, I'll come to that in a bit as to why that is. Basically, I'm, I'm going to completely turn the difficulty up to max in terms of the realism in this game. I've got some modifiers that I've installed, which are going to create headaches for me, but hopefully create entertainment for you guys. Uh, mental, 20. And then we've got tactical. Now suddenly tactical's above tech. Okay. Uh, 12. And then technical, uh, 16. And then we got the judging player ability, he says, whilst clicking the wrong box. Judging player ability is 16, and then potential is 20. There we are. So that's those ones done. I am going to tweak some more uh, so like things like mind games and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, marking, that's important. Okay, I might focus on some of these things as well then. So, like, discipline's already done. Marking, I'm going to put up. So, this is going to be the more defensive and fitness-minded of the two assistant managers. So, I'm going to put, like, marking and offside at least higher than 10. That's for sure. Patience, mm, I suppose that needs to be a number as well. I'm going to say, like, 11. Pressing intensity. I do want to play not a G Gen press because I hate that expression, but uh, quite a high press. It doesn't have to be always full intensity, but just high press. Working with youngsters. I'm going to bump that up. Now I know the uh, story a little bit more. 16 for mind games. Might as well, you know. Use of playmaker. Let's go with like a 14 for that. Use of subs. I don't know if that needs to be a number. I'm going to. I might have to go back and redo Lewis at this rate, because I feel like I've missed some numbers here. Depth, fl uh, fluidity. Might start using a random number generator for some of these. Hardness of training. I'll go with 16. I might be shouting over the music now as well. Is as it just me or has the music gone really loud again? All right, squad rotation, that's going to be quite high now. Tempo, again, that's going to be relatively high. They don't both have to have the same mentality, though. One might want to do fast, one might want to do slow. Width, and then surely coaching should be quite a high number. Like, coaching of what, though? It doesn't actually say. Okay. Oh, and versatility. We'll have that quite high as well. Dirtiness allowance. Might be the first single digit number we've had. So, roll scores. Ah, Tom can hear the music today. That's good. 
So 187 for assistant manager. If I go to... Clicking the wrong things. Alright, STM, no worries. Thanks for dropping in. I will be getting on to the players in a second, which is sort of the business end of this stream. I know that's what most people are excited about. I know that's what most people will be turning out for as well. So current ability, it recommends 187. I can go with that. And then... Potential 200, sure. Current reputation. I mean, I'm going to do the numbers again, as I did before. And it should default back to... Maybe I've made that too high, actually, for all of them. I might make these just zero again, to be honest. Why does it do that? Stop doing that. Yeah, zero. And zero. Cool. No bands. Coaching style, I'm going to go with defending, but there is going to be... Actually, general works better. There we are. Anything else I've missed? Don't think so. Board confidence isn't something I need to worry about particularly, or fan confidence. All attributes here covered. Tendencies? That needs doesn't need to be uh, an issue either. Maybe I should have numbers for some of these other ones. That might be something that the game can do though. Or I'll add it in at a later date. It doesn't need to be done right now. Okay. Let's go back to this then. I'm going to quickly change... Uh, the reputations I've got here as well. Just to put them back to zero. Because I don't want like Man United to come in on week one. And take away my coaching stuff. That's not going to go down very well. Believe me. I don't think the... The chairman's ratings matter too much. For reputation at least. But in the interest of fairness. I'm going to keep everyone as a zero. Going off my phone so I can watch the stream on my TV. Awesome. Set the hose on them if they try. Yeah, turn the sprinklers on. I don't know. Do, do we have sprinklers? If we don't now, we will in the future. Wet wood. Oh, dear. Wet wood. All right. Now, I've got here that John's also the goalkeeping coach as well as the chairman. And I was debating this. How I was actually going to do this. Because I don't think a chairman can also be considered a member of the coaching staff. So what I might do is, um, a bit like what John's done on this form actually, is create a second John Shearer, but call them Johnny, and have uh, him as the goalkeeping coach. At least then, like, if the club, I mean, the club isn't going to get sold now, but if, um, if the coach version steps down, the chairman version will still be there. That kind of makes sense. Because I would like both roles to be fulfilled. Oop. Since when was there an E? I don't know where I got that from. And then I can also distinguish between who's the goalkeeping coach and who's the chairman as well. So, uh, Northern European. Oh, God. Did I... I didn't do anything for that. Uh, I did that, and then I did, I think it was a three. And then DOB, again, I'm not going to read out. And I'm kind of going off memory here. Is that right? Yes, it is. I'll do the same place of birth as well. I think it was different on, yeah, it was different on here, but... Um, I mean, I am assuming that is the same person, by the way. If it, it could be an amazing coincidence. Two people with the same name and the same date of birth. Don't knock it. That's all I'm saying. It has happened. <clears throat> okay. So this is the goalkeeping coach. So if I go down to person data. Where are we at? Goalkeeping coach, which is this one here. 
We'll put that as a big fat 20. I'm actually going to have coach. Uh, eh. No, I'm going to leave the other numbers as default, actually. That makes more sense. Did I? I did change these, right? With, um, I think I changed them here. So determination, which I still can't find. There it is. That is a 20, as is discipline, which is on... No, always get it wrong. No, always get it wrong. Level of discipline, there it is. It's also a 20. Um, motivating is a... 12. And then for goalkeeping we got distribution which is a 20 handling which is a 16 and shot stopping which is also a 16 oh god I just pressed all the wrong buttons on my phone as well I'm getting really good at pressing wrong buttons on pretty much everything I will do some stats here for mental and technical and stuff as well. Because goalkeeping coaches can also... I mean, you, goalkeepers have mental uh, abilities that need to be trained as well. I don't know why the game doesn't really factor that in. I suppose it does, but it just does it like behind the scenes. I also keep putting things as like multiples of two right now as well. Physiotherapy, sports, science. Uh, we don't have any physios actually. That might be something I'll have to... I think they there's a th uh, one of the sponsors... Um, are a physiotherapy company. So that might be where that comes from. What else we got? Versatility, definitely high. Squad rotation also. I don't know if these are that important either. Working with youngsters, that's also going to be very important. Things like versatility and stuff is probably not going to be that important, let's be honest. I'm just going to put dummy numbers in for these ones as well, just so that we have got a relative... Uh, spectrum of coaching from all the coaches okay tactical attributes here um, these aren't as important I'm gonna leave these blank for now because again I can change them later so roll scores now it should say goalkeeping coach at the top and it does fantastic so recommended here is 162 potential again is gonna be 200 I, I do feel like I've made these guys way too good like, way, way too good. So, yeah, they have, they have external physios. There's something I can add in in the future as well, though, if they wish to be added to the game. I should be able to add them in. So, I won't worry too much about that right now. Okay, I think that's it for... staff. So, if I go back to... clubs... and Hatfield... So now I'm going to look at, uh, what am I looking for? Staff and players. So board. I'm going to start adding people in now. So you are chairman. It says director. How do I change that? Hang on. Uh, database. Clubs. Hatfield Town. Why can't I change? There must be a drop down. So oh. No. I, mm, I'll come back to that. There might be a way of doing it. Um, so, yeah, manager, blank. Oh, hang on. No. No, I have done something wrong there. Okay. We'll come back to that. Assistant manager is going to be... Um, Lewis Johnson and this is coach first team again I don't know how to change that to assistant manager 
They're... I must be missing something. I must be missing something really obvious. And, oh, hang on. I need to go back here. I need to get the chat back up as well. So we got Chris. Uh, yeah, that's quite a common name. You. Well, in Garden City, he seems to be the only one. It's just his coach first team. Oh, mm. I might have to change that in their actual profile to make that make sense. I'll look at that in a second, see if I can do it. Uh, so this version of John is going to be goalkeeping coach. Cool. Yeah, let me go back to people. I'm going to experiment. Let's run this again. Uh, this one. So contract, club contract. So it says coach first team. Yeah, goalkeeping coach first team. Secondary job. Oh, you can do it as. Okay, hang on. In that case, I'm going to delete this version. Hang on, I need to... Right, just in case I do mess this up. Uh, none. It might then be possible... So I'll get the tactical, where are we at, coaching, goalkeeper handling, do do do, got things like determination and stuff as well to deal with, so determination up here, so that's a 20, and then we've got level of discipline which again is oh, I actually remember where it was this time it's nice isn't it it's also a 20 motivating no nope, wrong one that's a 12 and then goalkeeper distribution is a 20 handling is a 16 and shot stopping is a 16 as well. Cool. And then I'll put some yeah, dummy numbers in again. Just so that there's stuff here. Uh, physiotherapy, sports science. I guess someone needs to... Hmm. I'll have a look at that for physio. I might just hire a, a random physio and then rename them in the future. Uh, I've got to do single digits for these ones here. Working with youngsters, that's going to be quite high. Squad rotation. Versatility. I promise you guys, we are getting to the, uh, the, the meat of the sandwich soon. Man management. I would... If you're a good man manager, you, you're, you're pretty much set for life. Uh, and then the rest of this stuff, I mean, hardness of training. I don't want them to kill the players or anything, but I want them to, you know, actually make them think. Let them know they've... Oh, yeah, can't change that one, can I? Okay, so now um, club contract, Hatfield Town, chairman, and goalkeeping coach for the first team. Date joined, that's fine. Uh, I don't think I can change anything for when the contract expires. Because it's technically a full-time, like, sticking around forever kind of thing. It might auto-generate one, of course. 
And the numbers here as well are going to be just dummy numbers. That's fine. Okay, so that's John done. So now I need to go do... Um, Lewis and Chris again. Hope that I can do both as assistant managers. If not... Go club contract. Hatfield Town. Assistant manager first team. I mean, your backup could be coach first team as well, I suppose. One of them could be. Let's. What else have we got? I think that. No, we'll we'll leave it as this for now. We'll have them both be the same. All right, and again, this will be. Oh, hang on. I'll put them on part time. I mean, can you be a part-time chairman? I suppose you can. We'll leave that as... Uh, the reason there's no expiration date is because it's not full-time. And actually, I need to change John again. I'm learning as I go here, guys. It's been a while since I did... Um, in fact, it's been a while since I did players. Never mind staff. So, yeah, part-time. Whoops. He says he clicks full-time again. And then Chris... Have I done the right name there? Yes. I got really paranoid then. I thought I did the wrong name. Chris Jones, Hatfield Town. It says coach first team, but that's going to change. Assistant manager first team and also coach first team. Actually, you're going to be fitness coach first team. So there is going to be a subtle change there. And again, that can change in the future. If need be. Right. Okay, guys. Time to do the players. Time to do the players. We've uh, faffed around for long enough doing the um, the staff. Now it's time to do... The reason you're all here, basically, it's time to do the players. So, I'm going to do them in order that they filled out the form. Or at least the order that, order that I've got them on the spreadsheet here. It's not alphabetical order or anything like that. Um, no favouritism or anything like that. If your name's at the bottom, it's because you filled out the form last. Or you gave your details last. So, first up, we have Lee Hammond. Uh, God, Mark. There's two text boxes. Come on. I have a degree. You wouldn't think it sometimes. Um, I might... Oh, yeah, hair colour and things. I didn't really think about again, did I? Ethnicity. So, an ethnicity is white British, so Northern European. Uh, hair colour. Um, I mean, I could just do unknown. For now, I think again that's something I might be able to change in the future. I don't want to say that and then I can't because I don't want people to be stuck with the wrong coloured hair. Right, again, not reading out DOBs. Uh, there we go. City of birth, London. I'm assuming that's London, UK, not London, Ontario. Uh, London? No. Wow, why is London right down there? London, England. There we are. England, 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 England. Nationality info. Uh, yeah, some of these might be different because... Um... There's a few people here that are, are from around the world, but could be eligible for a number of different countries. You just don't know. So I'm, I'm, mm, I might leave those blank. I'm not saying people will necessarily be called up for international duty or won't be called up for international duty, but I'll leave those blank for now. If I have to change them in the future, I hope I can change them. Let's put it that way. Right, your club is Hatfield Town. Everyone has provided squad numbers as well, which is good. Preferred squad numbers. So hopefully some of these players do get high enough where they uh, will actually have um, squad numbers assigned. So Lee's squad number is number four. Again, everything here is... Um, technically, it's amateur. 
Squad status, I'm not changing anything for that right now. Wages aren't factored in on amateurs. I've got to stop saying amateur. You know what I mean, like non-professional, basically. Semi-pro. Well, semi-pro is different to amateur. In anyway, I'm just digging myself a hole. So, personal data, person data. Um, don't worry about any of this. We'll leave this as random. So, player data is what I'm looking for. So, general. That name on the back is going to be the same as before. Uh, current ability and everything like that, we don't know yet. But we do know this stuff. I'm hoping this is in centimeters for height and, and kilograms for weight. So, again, I'm not going to read out people's weights. I don't think that's particularly fair. Uh, and if these aren't in centimeters and kilograms, I can change them afterwards. That is fine. One of the other things I was excited about with this, actually, is we've got quite a few left footers in here, which is good to see. Because I struggle sometimes for actually getting left and right footers. Like, I always have more of one than the other. And it's not always I have more right footers. Sometimes I have more left footers. Positions. So Lee is a uh, central defensive midfielder primarily, but also a central midfielder as a secondary. So I'm going to give you a DM. I'm going to give you like a 20 and a CM. I'm going to give you a 15. You are probably going to be playing central midfield more than anything. Um, because you're right footed, I'm probably going to say... Actually, I might just put not set. And then for this, let's just go with... Uh, you're more of a ball-winning midfielder, I can imagine. What's your tackling stat? You've given yourself a 12. That's quite high. I might say just ball-winning. That hasn't, hasn't actually changed anything here. So, yeah, defensive midfielder slash deep lying playmaker it's got you as. Hmm. Preferred central position, though, I think. That might be something I change in the future. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, yeah, roll scores here. Um, why is everything zero? Is it because I haven't put stats in yet? I think so. Okay, current ability dependent attributes. Is there an all attributes? Yes, there is. Cool. So crossing. These should all be in alphabetical order with what I've got here. So this will make my life a lot easier. So corners. Where is corners here? All right. Crossing at least is a four. Very honest. Um, dribbling is an eight. Finishing is a four. Some of these might have been tweaked, by the way. If you're a player watching this right now and you're outraged by your stats, uh, some of them may have been tweaked, not necessarily by me. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to move the chat onto my other monitor as well so I can, uh, well, monitor it without Chrome getting on the top. Uh, so heading eight. Do you know what? I thought it would be a really good idea to turn the text sideways for this so I could read them, but I really can't. Long shots, four. Marking, 12. Now we're talking. Off the ball. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do it how it is. Uh, where am I at? Physical? No, technical. I'm going to do it as it is here because it. this is how I did the list to begin with. So corners is a four. And then first touch uh, is an eight. Free kicks is a four. And again, these numbers might look quite uniform right now, but they will get changed when they're put in the game. Long throws is a four. Passing is a 12. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Midfielders who can pass. It's quite rare at lower leagues. Penalty taking, eight. Tackling, uh, 12. Wish I had someone to read these numbers out to me, actually. That would have been good. Technique, eight. 
And is versatility one of them? No. So versatility, I'm going to say, I think this is for how how easily can you retrain players. So I'm going to say like a 14. Not so much for changing position, but changing role within that position. Uh, so mental is next. So aggression. 12, same with anticipation. And then bravery. Uh, is also a 12. Composure is an 8. Concentration is a 12. Consistency, which is always key. Uh, I don't think I put... Cons no, I didn't put consistency. That's a hidden stat, I think. So let's go with, like, 14. Decisions. 12. Determination. Uh, that's also a 12. Flair is an 8. Dirtiness. I mean, how high do you want that to be? You're a ball winner. So I'm going to say like 15. I don't want you to get red carded or anything. And I might lower that down in the future. Flair is an 8. Important matches. So that's whether you turn up for the big games. And there's going to be a lot of big games throughout the year, early season. So we're going to put that quite high. Leadership is a 16. Now I think, did I mark who the captain was? I did not. So that's something that's going to have to, be, I'm going to have to ask about it again in a second. Movement. Uh, where am I? Leadership. So off the ball is what I've got next. So movement and positioning. Now I do remember positioning, yeah. So I think off the ball is movement, basically. So I'm going to put that as like a, uh, what have you got? 12. And then positioning, I think, was also a 12. Teamwork is also a 12. Vision. Uh, anyone who's watched WandaVision. Yeah. Don't, no spoilers, please. I've watched it, but I've, I know people who are watching this who haven't seen it yet. So no spoilers, please. Work rate is going to be a 12. And then finally, for physical attributes, we've got acceleration. Now, this is probably going to be the section where people are most offended. <laughs> by their physical stats like how fast are you how strong are you things like that so acceleration we've got it as an eight agility uh, is also an eight balance it's a 12 uh, injury proneness now that's a hidden stat as well so i mean we might just do middle of the road like somewhere between I don't know, actually, because I've got a, a mod that increases injury likelihood, or at least makes it more realistic. So I don't want to put numbers in that are too high, but I also don't... I might just put 10s across the board, actually, for injury proneness, and then let the uh, the mod work it out. Natural fitness, we've got a 12. Uh, pace, now this is the one that most people are going to be bragging about, I'm sure. We have an 8. Stamina is a 12 and then strength is also a 12 not bad actually not bad preferred moves now these are things that could be changed in the future uh yeah there are youth teams yeah there are youth teams um there's under 23s and there's under 18s there's also an academy um i don't know if you can rename academies but i might rename it if i can to something because it's i think it's just hatfield town academy is its default name and that's not always great. I might leave these blank. Because these are basically player traits. So like these are things you can train players. Uh, as you go through the game. So I might. I mean get crowd going is one that you wouldn't mind having. But I'm going to leave the, the traits blank I think. So am I missing anything? That's the question. So we got. Uh, so yeah the, the potential. Recommends a 78. That's not bad. And then potential. I might make for these I might make them I might do a default 150 and then change it in the future if I have to. Oh you could do ranges. Okay. 170 to 200 that kind of I might have everyone's potential be the same. Reputation I'm going to keep as all zeros. 
height, weight, all that stuff is going to be as was before. And I think that is this done. So just to check, you are a Hatfield player, correct? Yep, good. So next up then, add player. I'm going to put my glasses on actually because I'm struggling to read some of these screens. That's what happens when you get old, you turn blind as a bat. But yeah, uh, to go back to your question, sorry, there are youth teams. Um, there's under 18s, there's under 23s. Every year you get a youth intake. They join your under 18 team unless something's changed. Um, you can move players between squads at any time. You can also, if you have a player in your first team squad who's under the age of 18 and isn't getting much first team football, you can make them temporarily available for the under 18s team or the under 23s team. And basically, whenever they're not picked for the first team, they'll be used in a, a an under 18s or under 23s match. Uh, so next up, we've got Darcy Hollis. It's an awesome first name, by the way. Darcy. Don't hear that very often. You are number five. But we'll come to that in a second. Uh, ethnicity, white British or Northern European. Uh, skin, uh, hair, sorry, I have no idea. Skin tone, I'll fluctuate them a little bit. Like two, twos to fours, basically. Not everyone's going to have the same skin colour. Some people might have been on holiday recently. Well, not recently, but you know what I mean. If they have been on holiday recently, I'm sure the police would like to have a word with them. Uh, where am I at? September? I might say months and days occasionally, but I'm not going to read out people's years because that, that's the bit where I think it's not very fair. Uh, so, Hatfield... Um, I could put Hatfield, I suppose. I'm not against the idea of putting Hatfield. There isn't a hospital in Hatfield, but it could have been a home birth. Who am I to judge? That's why I say I'm from Welling Garden City, because that's where the hospital is. Okay, club contract. You are a Hatfield player. What's the youngest you can make a player? Like, is is there, for like, 14-year-olds? I believe so. I think so. Um... Back in the day, when I used to create my friends and, and uh, myself in the game, uh, I think we were like 15 years old. And I know that there used to be an age limit on managers that may or may not still be in the game. Um, but quite a lot of it has been changed over the years. I think there are 14, 15 year old players. Like, um, who's the one at the moment? Um, there's a guy, I think in Germany, who's making headlines at the moment. Um, not Musiala. There's another player. Who I can't remember the name of right now. But I think they were added into the game. Because they were slightly too young. For the game. Um, but I think it does go down to like 14, 15 years old. Maybe 16 is the minimum. I'll see. You never know. If, if I've got someone who's. I mean what is the youngest player I've got. Oh my god I've got people from the 2000s. God that makes me feel old. Okay so yeah. We've got like 18, 19 year olds. That will be added in. Um, they might get put into the under 18s team just by default. Depends what their stats are, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we'll 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 see when we start the game. So what am I doing? Sorry, I got distracted there by looking at numbers and stuff. So player, can I make you? Ha! Imagine having someone who's the player and like the chairman. <laughs> How funny would that be? Uh, so yeah, your your first team player. Not worried about when your contract expires. Oh yeah, you're an amateur. Did I change that for? Lee. I don't know if I did. No, I think I did. Because I remember coming down to squad status. I'm going to check that before I do anything else. Uh, There we are. Contract... Oh, yeah, I did change it. Okay. Whoops, let's turn on caps locks. Do, do, do. Wow, you're the only Darcy Hollis in the game. Um, yeah, there are teams that young. There are teams that young. Um... Well, actually, I think the youth intake starts at the age of 15. But I think you can make a special example and put someone in who's younger than that. 
Uh, so if I was to create you, for example, in the game, then I might be able to make... If not, we might have to, like, bodge your age up a couple of years. Right, I think I did everything here. So now I'm going to move into attributes. No, player data. That's the next one. So positions. You are a centre-back who can also play as a cam. Somehow, whoops, keep whacking my pop filter, sorry. Uh, somehow I feel like that's a really secret weapon, having a... If I do a 10 instead of 15, no. I might put you as a... F like, uh, what's 14 going to look like? Is there a way that I can actually have it? Does it have to be 15 before it appears? Okay, it has to be 15 before it appears. I might make you like a 14. Just so that it, it doesn't quite appear, but it's close to appearing. So I imagine with your stats, you're going to be more of a a defender than a midfielder. Yeah, you got tackling at 12. Mind you, so has, has Lee. Hmm. We'll see. We can always train players in positions as well. Depending on their... Um... Actually, what, what am I doing here? Position scores. No. No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, depending on um, how adaptable players are, they might be retrainable in different positions. Okay, uh, so yeah. Mental attributes. Is that what we start with? No, we start with technical attributes. Yeah, I'm going to try and move this along a little bit now because I realise I said I was going to be streaming for two hours. It's coming up to two hours and I'm on player number two. So let's get this moving, people. If necessary, I might have to do some people off camera. Don't be offended if that is you. Uh, you will all be in the game. You will all be with the stats that you uh, gave. It's just a time time issue. My time issue. My poor time management issue. So we've got an 8 and then we've got a 4. Can I press tab? <gasps> I can press tab. Awesome. Right, so it's... Corners, crossing, dribbling, finishing. So I'm now down to first touch, which is an eight. And then a four. And then a 12. Awesome. Center back who can head. That might sound like a default thing, but believe me, it's... Excuse me, it's not. Um, long shots, four. So you won't be a Trequatista type um, cam if you do end up playing there. Long throws, four. It'd be cool if we had a player who could do long throws. Marking, 12. Passing, 12. Uh, penalty taking, four. Tackling, 12. Good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I did so well without coughing, and now I'm coughing. Technique, 12. And versatility. So yeah, this is about retrainability and stuff, isn't it? So I'm going to say like 16. Cool. Now we've got uh, mental attributes. So it's things like aggression. Which is a 2. Um, and then a 2. Uh, not 2. I'm an idiot. An 8. And then uh, an 8 again. For anticipation and then an eight again for bravery so you're not necessarily going to stick your head in where it hurts but being someone who has done that in the past it hurts so i think you're the smart one in that scenario concentration um an eight or if you're asking me it's gonna be like a four because i'm really bad at concentrating decisions eight determination eight Flare, 12. Uh, oh, sorry. What did I miss? Consistency. That's what I missed. So that's going to be, again, like maybe a 12. And then you're going to be an 8. And then determination was an 8 as well. And then uh, dirtiness, ugh, 13. Flare... 12. That's going to be interesting. Centre-back with a bit of flair. 
doing chop turns and things like that. Uh, important matches. I mean, if you've got some flair, then you're probably going to be up for the big games too. Leadership, I think, was an eight. Yep. Off the ball, which is movement, was also uh, an eight. Positioning was a 12. Teamwork uh, was an eight. Vision, 12. And then work rate is an eight. Good stuff. Has the team logo been there the entire time? Oh, uh, yeah. So in the top left corner... You'll see every five minutes, you'll have the old Hatfield Town logo and the new Hatfield Town logo, the 135th anniversary one. Um, both awesome badges, by the way. And yeah, they they um, I think it's one every 30 seconds and then it'll switch to the next one and then it'll disappear again for five minutes and then the first one will come back for 30 seconds and then the second one. Or it's a minute each. I can't remember which. But yeah, it's what's known on Streamlabs as a sponsor's bar, which is kind of true. So uh, acceleration... Again, this is where we get to the nitty gritty. Acceleration four. Uh, agility eight. Maybe I shouldn't read these stats out loud. I might sort of mumble them to myself as I put them in the boxes, but I don't think people want to know that they've got bad uh, acceleration. Injury proneness. Did I say that was going to be a 10? All the way down. Jumping reach 12. Nice. Uh, natural fitness was an eight. The annoying thing is the uh, the window. Actually, I might be able to zoom out a little bit. The window I'm looking at that has all these stats on is just slightly too big. There we go. Uh, like the the spreadsheet I'm using is just slightly too wide for my monitor, so I have to like constantly scroll across. Whereas now, hopefully, I don't have to do that. Pace. I'm not going to read that one out loud. You might be able to see it on the screen, but I'm not going to read it out loud. Stamina is an 8. And then uh, Strength is awesome, a 12. So, goalkeeping attributes. Um, we have got three goalkeepers, I believe. I know we've got at least two. There might be a third one. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But in the future, I might add... Um, I'll check roll scores and stuff as well in a second. Uh, I might check whether or not um welcome back george i might check whether or not there is a, a first team player who's uh an outfield player but is also like ready to go in goal in case of injuries or anything because again lower league teams you kind of need that uh just in case um did i not do like i don't mm, hang on Roll used for lengthy attributes. Let's go with this. And we'll go with just central defender. So defender central and attacking midfield central. Current ability depending dependent attributes. So I think there are some here that need... Ah, so you've got things like one-on-ones and stuff. Handling, that's a goalkeeper thing. That's a goalkeeper thing. That's a goalkeeper thing. That's a goalkeeper thing. These are all goalkeeping things. I think that's a goalkeeping thing as well, as is reflexes. Oh, did I not do your foot? What does that come under? Is that general? Oh, yeah, because I didn't do height and, and things like that, did I? Derp. So let's do 60 and then potential ability range. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then current ability and everything like that is going to remain as default. And then we've got uh, height, which is 190. So you're well into the six foots, which is awesome. Weight, again, I'm not going to read out because that's nasty. Uh, right foot, left foot. So you do have... I imagine you have a little bit of left footedness. I'm going to do like a five. And then for right footedness, <clears throat> you are listed as right footed. So we're going to do a full 20 there work permit or anything like that we don't need to worry about and i think that is the um the player done i'm not sure why we're not getting oh we are getting roll scores now there we are okay that's a lot that's a lot cooler and that's gone up as well maybe you have to do potential and ability and everything first i don't know 
Anyway, next player. Starting to get a roll now. Starting to. Still not flying through, but starting to. So next up, we've got Carter. Uh, Hudson Doncaster. There we go. I'll just highlight you as well, so I know who I'm dealing with. You are... Uh, white British, so Northern European. I'm looking forward to this one for the um, the players, the position scores. You'll see why in a second. Again, hair color and everything. I don't know. I might make you that. And again, I'm I'm very much guessing. Age. Oh well, no, this was a depressing one. Um. So what's that? That and that. There we are. Place of birth. Welling Garden City. Another local lad. Good to see. Just check messages again. Oh, all good. Right. Everything here I think now is set. So club contract is Hatfield. As a player. Uh... You amateur. Please don't poach all my players game. Please don't do that to me. I think everything else is set here as well, isn't it? Yep. I believe that's all done now. So now we go to person data. Attributes. Don't need to worry about that. Yeah, then again, I'm going to leave all these as default. I think I can change those again in the future if necessary. Um, these are going to be left blank. Wow, this is really loud in my ear again. Oh, as is that. Height and weight. Do those quickly. Oh, I didn't do um, squad number. I'll come back to that. I knew I forgot something. There's always something I'm going to forget. I've pretty much resigned to that fact. There's always going to be something I'm going to forget. All right, now you're left-footed, but given your positioning, the positions you can play, I'm actually going to give you a 10 for your weaker foot. Because I can see that coming into play. Preferred squad number, uh, you are number 19. No, not 119, just 19. Don't be greedy. So yeah, general. Everything here I think is okay. Again, all this stuff we'll come back to. So positions, right. By default, you are a central attacking midfielder. So that's going to be your 20. However, you can also play, and this is what I'm excited about, right wing back, which is you. So I'm going to do a 10 for you. Um, left wing back. Oh, no, wait. Right wing. Oh, sorry. Not right wing back. I read that wrong. Right wing, left wing. So I'm going to put you as like 15s for these. So already, you know, Mr. Versatile over here. But, uh, so right wing, left wing, left back. So we'll do like a 10 for left back. And then um, central defensive midfield as well, which is just amazing. Like, talk about a player who's versatile. I'm going to put 10s for those. So I mainly want you to be an attacker, let's be honest. Uh, so for this, I want you to be... Um, I mean, how good... Is, what have you got for, like, flair? Flair is quite low. Passing. Passing's okay. Free kick taking. Is also quite... <coughs> excuse me, also quite low. So is penalty taking. Okay, so nothing too uh, amazing. Let's go with like a... Um, I mean, attacking midfielder could just work. Like that. Skip has arrived. Hello, Lee. We've already made you. You're already in the game, my friend. Welcome to the stream, though. Good to see you. Right, edit data saved. Uh, a bit later than expected, I made a pizza and went to the chip shop. Bloody hell. <laughs> Are you full now, George? 
Okay, everything else I think there is fine. Roll scores, we'll come back to that, obviously. Position scores as well. So, um, current ability dependent traits. We'll do it in uh, this way again. So, corners uh, is an 8. Whoops, not 89, just an 8. Crossing is a 12. Dribbling is also a 12. Finishing is an 8. First touch is an 8. I'll show you your stats again in a minute if you want, Lee. Uh, free kicks is an 8. Heading, 4. That's kind of expected, not the tallest in the world. Long shots, 4. Uh, long throws, four. Nice and low. Marking, also a four. Not that good a defensive midfielder then. It'll be like, uh, you know, when um, when you get towards the end of the game and you start sitting a bit deeper. When I do the match plans, I'll explain that a little bit more. But yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, like uh, someone who's playing on the wing but now is playing defensive midfielder kind of thing. Penalty taking is an eight. Tackling is an 8. Technique is a 12. That's good to see. And then versatility. I'm going to make that like a 16 or a 17. Because again, being able to retrain. Maybe not retrain as a defensive midfielder. But as a central midfielder. Uh, maybe even being able to play on the left and the right as well. Alright Lee. I'll show you your stats again in a second. Uh, so yeah. For aggression... Uh, 12. That's good to see, actually. A winger with aggression. Or just an attacking player in general with aggression. That's really good to see. Uh, anticipation is an 8. Bravery is a 12. Again, really good to see. Someone who likes to get stuck in. Uh, composure is an 8. Um, concentration... Consistency, that's up to me, isn't it? So that's gonna, I'm gonna be like a 14 maybe, because sometimes your flare players aren't always gonna be on top form. Uh, mind you, have we got to flare yet? Okay, your wide players might not always be on top form. Decisions, uh, eight. Determination is a 12. Dirtiness, hmm. <laughs> Wingers don't tend to be that dirty. I'm going to put like a, t a 10 for that. Be, be generous. Unless someone's got insider info, of course. So, 8 important matches. I'm going to put like a 13 for that. Still still turns up, but not always. A little bit, not inconsistent. I don't want to like speak ill of anyone, because I don't know these people. But, you know, you've got to have some players who don't always turn up for the big games. Let's be honest. Uh, leadership is an 8. Uh, movement is what's that? That's um, off the ball, isn't it? So eight. Why have they changed the name of that this year? I don't know. Positioning is an eight. Teamwork. I keep losing where I am. Is an eight. Uh, vision is a... a twelve. That's very good. And then work rate is also an 8. And then finally we've got physical. So I like the fact that whilst I'm putting these stats in, in the background it's like deciding whether they're going to be a playmaker or a wide target man or anything like that. Uh, this is Carter Hudson Doncaster. Be honest but be, be nice as well. Uh, acceleration is an 8. And agility... Oh, that's good to see. So hang on, acceleration is is quite slow, but good agility. Okay, that is that's like an sort of like an Edin Hazard type player, where they're not the fastest, not the quickest off the line either, but they can sell you for a dummy. No problem there. Uh, injury proneness. Your wingers do get injured quite a lot, so I'm going to put. Oh no, I did say I was going to leave that as ten, didn't I? That's what happens when you've got a short memory, like a goldfish. Jumping reach, uh, four. It's quite low. But again, that's to be expected. 
Natural Fitness uh, is an 8. And then we've got Pace. Ooh, okay. Stamina. And then Strength. Okay, so I think that is um, Carter done. So if I go back to this... Oh no, I need to do um, ability and everything. Carter gets injured doing up his laces. <laughs> Fair play. Good little player, one to watch for in the future, 100%. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Uh, recommended is going to be 50, and then I'm going to do uh, potential ability range again. 170 to 200. Um, current reputation, that's all blank still. And then if I go back to roll scores now, yeah, you go. Now they filled in. So you've got wingers, left and right. And also uh, inverted winger as well, which is cool, on the right-hand side. And then uh, left midfield is a winger for support as opposed to attack. So I think we got we got some good versatility here. Position scores, 30 for left back, 20, uh, 35 for defence midfielder, 47 for left, 50 for central, and 47 for right. That sounds about right. He is a baller though, coming for the skipper's spot. Ha! Nice little bit of friendly rivalry, love it. So what have we got here for central midfielder? So they're down here, advanced playmaker, support, and attack, both 47s. Okay. Potentially some training needed for some of this then. Again, it's, it's got goalkeeper stats here. I don't know why it's decided to do those. But everything else, pretty good. Good stuff. Right. So let's, before I do the next player, I'm going to go back to uh, Lee. So tell me if these sound accurate to you, Lee. If I go to the roll scores... It's ranked you as a defensive midfielder set to support the highest, but it's also got ball winning midfielder set to defend and also ball winning midfielder set to support. Uh, and then defensive midfielder, anchor man, halfback. And then for position scores, it's got you down as a defensive midfielder and a midfield, uh, central midfielder. And then for your ability dependent. Uh, attributes. We've got you as a current ability of 78 with potential to grow, obviously. Um, crossing 4, dribbling 8, finishing 4. I think the standout ones are marking movement, passing, which are all 12s. Uh, tacklings are 12. Is that throwing an anticipation? Hang on. No, anticipation and decisions, both 12s. Positioning is a 12, and then uh, balance, 12. Got your 20 for right foot, 10 for left, I guess. Might be wrong. Strength and stamina, both 12s. Um, 16 for leadership. And then 12s for bravery and com concentration as well. As long as none of Lee's stats say attack. Oh yeah, no, they're pretty low. Like, finishing is a, is a 4. That's pretty piss poor if you ask me. Long shots for... Yeah, heading... I mean, heading can also work for, like, corners and stuff. Got you down as an 8 for that. I'd say, I'd say it's pretty good for, for a midfielder. Central midfielder. More defensive-minded midfielder. That's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Alright, so on to the next one. Next up, we've got James Harding. And I'll, uh, I'll, I might ask for my insider knowledge through this as well. James Harding. So, also um, Northern European. I keep clicking on that one thinking that's ethnicity. Why have they got ethnicity and then skin tone two apart? Why does hair colour come next? I don't know. Don't know where the goals are. <laughs> it could be the touchline, it could be the byline. You never know. Date of birth. 90, oh no, I, did, I said, mm, I nearly read out a year then. Nearly read out a year, nearly made someone feel old. Uh, same month, oh, same, same birthdays, actually. That's cool. Unless that was filled in wrong. Again, I can change that in the future. Uh, place of birth, London Coney. And 
There we are. And then uh, next thing, club contract. James Harding equals... <laughs> equals Xavi. Nice. So you play for Hatfield and you are a uh, an amateur player. All this stuff is fine. Actually, what, what's this? So that's date joined. And that's date last contract expired. Okay, that is fine. First squad number is number eight. I do like a good number eight. Gerard Lampard. Um, Kieran Dyer. I don't know. I'm, I'm a Newcastle fan. So what number eights have we had? Danny Guthrie, Kieran Dyer, John Joe Shelby. Okay, maybe it's not that good. <clears throat> trying to think of Stevenage number eights as well. I'm a Newcastle fan and a Stevenage fan. Technically a Chelsea fan as well because my mum's a Chelsea fan, but we don't talk about that very often. Okay, attributes again, I'm going to completely ignore. I'm going to go straight down to the stats first, and then I'm going to look at the, uh, the other stuff. So technical attributes... Um, 8, 8, 12, 12, 12. That's cool. Oh, uh, other quick disclaimer. I've said this a few times already, but I'll say it again. Because of the, the way that your stats in the game are actually um, determined is by your current ability and your potential ability. So even though I've put like 8s and 12s in here now, this is based on the forms that you guys filled in. Um, but the game will add modifiers to those stats based on your current and potential abilities. So it might go up, it might come down. Uh, you never know. It tends to come down more than it goes up, to be honest. But again, we'll see. Free kick taking. Oh, an eight. Almost got someone who can take free kicks. I'm really tempted. Like last... Uh, oh, am I looking at the right person? That's a good thing to do, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is an eight. And then it's an eight again for um, heading. And then long shots is a 12 long throws is a four uh, marking is a 12 that's good to see actually wait nope my bad read the wrong number marking is an eight still good don't get me wrong passing is a 12 though and that is good uh, penalty taking is an 8. Tackling is a 12. Also good. Technique is an 8. And then um, versatility. Now, how versatile are you? You can only play two positions. So that's quite low-ish. I'd say like a 12. Or, oops, not a 2. A 12. And then mental attributes... So we got aggression, which is um, a 12. That's always good to see. A midfielder who, especially a number eight, who knows how to tackle. That's always, always good to see. So someone who's got 12 tackling and 12 aggression, they're going to be flying in. Oh, it's going to be like watching a proper National League type midfield battle. A couple of 12s and then uh, concentration is an 8 and then it's so 8, 8, 12. Determination. Wait, have I missed one out? Determination is a 12. I've Oh, consistency. I always fall for that one. So you're an 8. And consistency. Would you say he's consistent? Uh, Akram Chowdhury, welcome to the stream. Yeah, consistency. I mean, I, I'd like everyone to be fairly consistent. So I'd say that's like a 14. Just a number off the top of my head. Dirtiness. I mean, what's your tackling? Your tackling is pretty good, isn't it? Tackling's a 12, but you're quite aggressive. So I'd say like a... I mean, you said dirty as well. Zavi's dirtiness wants to be a higher number. So let's go with like a 16, 17, 17. Let's go with 17. Someone's got to be uh, suspended. Uh, Flair, 16. That's what I like to see. Step overs in the center circle. Am I right, lads? Important matches. Someone who knows how to tackle is always going to turn up for the big games. 
Even if they're going to go straight through the back of the other team's players. Uh, leadership. There's an 8. And then it's another 8 for movement. And then uh, positioning is uh, an 8 as well. And then we have a 12 for teamwork. Yep, it's good to see. Vision is uh, an 8. And then I've got... Work rate. What do you reckon? Someone, I mean, someone in the engine room like that, they're going to be moving around a lot. Let's say, say like a 15 for that as well. Actually, work rate is something they mark themselves on. What am I guessing? It's 12. I was close. Right, and then we got physical attributes. So, acceleration. Again, this is where the bragging rights come in. So, it's 8, 8, 12. Uh, injury proneness. Hmm. Again, I'm going to leave that as a 10. I'm leaving everyone's as a 10 because of the modifier that I've put into the game. Uh, jumping reach is an 8. And then it's a 12 for natural fitness. And then 8, 12, 12. It's not the fastest, but pretty good stamina and pretty good strength. Which for a central midfielder is absolutely perfect. So going back to uh, general. Recommended current ability. Ah, so this is where I need to put actual positions in, of course. So height. 183. Weight. I'm not going to read out loud. There you go. And you are right footed. Yeah. So 20, and because you play cam, I'm going to put you the a little bit of a left foot. I, mean, I can't imagine you're going to be curling it top corner all the time, but you never know. Be a nice surprise. You put yourself down as a central midfielder primarily. With the ability to also play attacking midfield. Because I like your stats. So you've got, what's your finishing again? Your finishing is a 12. So I'm going to put you as like a 15 for the cam. Not bad. And then for roll used to fill empty attributes, let's go with a... I might say box to box. I mean, what was, what was your tackling again? Yeah, tackling a 12. So you're going to be sort of all over the place. And you've got good stamina. So I think that's fair. I think that's pretty fair. Alrighty. Uh, preferred central position, again, not set. That's fine. Going back to this now then, I might be able to have, yeah, 74. That's pretty good. One of the better players. And then potential. So let's see what the game thinks you're going to be good for. Box to fo box set to support. Also, ball winning midfielder set to defend or support. Interesting. So two ball winning midfielders now. Deep line playmaker set to defend. Central midfielder set to support. Um, or automatic. So there's some good ones there. Or position scores. Yeah, lower on the uh, the cam, but central midfield. So we might already have our central midfield partnership appearing. Hmm, who knows? And again, preferred moves is left blank for now. Right. Next, then. Have I forgotten anything? Don't think I have. So next, we got Dean Sadler. Now, I know Dean. I went to school with Dean. Well, I've not spoken to him for like 10 years, but I did go to school with Dean. And um, we got Nathan Studholm coming up as well, who I also went to school with. This is where I start to feel old. You know, these are professional, or, you know, um, footballers playing for a club. I need to say professional footballers, then. That's not correct. These are footballers playing for well-established clubs and they're the same age as me and I went to school with them and it just makes me feel old. Uh, so I'm guessing here Northern European. Yes. <laughs> it has been a while. St stuff might have changed. Um, we'll go with a f five? Four. I think a four. And date of birth is not to be read out loud. There are a few January births here, though. 
That's me as well. I'm January. Uh, Welling Garden City. Cool stuff. Another centre back. Yes, I do remember that. I might have... Confession time here. When I was looking through these stats the other day, I did start sort of picking out who my first team would be based on stats alone. Um, it could change. I'd like it to change. Again, I've got this modifier in that increases the likelihood of players getting injured. It encourages you to rotate your team a lot more. So, um, there will be a lot of rotation. But I'm pretty certain who my, my first team are going to be. At least at the start of the game. Uh, so, right. Let's do technical attributes. Actually, no. Let's do... Uh, no, no. I'll come back to height and weight and stuff, actually. Yeah, let's do technical attributes first. So, corners is a 4. And then it's an 8. And then it's an 8. And then it's an 8. And then it's a 12. Um, and then it's a 4. 16. Is that 16 for tackling? Oh, no. 16 for heading. Still good. Uh, and then an 8 for long shots. Long throws. Oh god, I'm struggling to see along the lines. Actually, hang on. Let me change something quickly. Because I'm struggling to read along the lines here, I'm going to fill in... Oh, what am I doing? Oh. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to put some gaps between um, these different categories so I can actually read it properly. There we go. Much better. Right. Back to this and back to this. So long throws is uh, f f uh, what color am I on red? Four. Why is it so hard to read suddenly? Uh, marking is sixteen, perfect. And then passing is twelve. Actually, for a centre back, twelve passing. Well, you're almost a ball player. And then eight, sixteen, eight. Great tackling as well. Versatility. Um, what have you got here? Central defender who can also play as a CDM. So not that versatile actually. What's all these twelves and thirteens? I got told maximum of five. So yeah, the game goes out of uh, goes up to twenty. So each stat is out of twenty. Um, but to make it easier for you guys to determine how good you are for each stat, I divided it by four basically. So you rate yourselves one to five, and then that will be multi uh, will be quadrupled, and then that is your rating out of twenty. It's the fairest way I could think to do it. Because if I'm if I said out of twenty, you're all going to put twenties, aren't you? Let's be honest. So it was to stop that nonsense, basically. Uh, right, 16 for aggression. Oh, yes. I love a centre-back who's aggressive. 12. 12. Uh, composure. It's also a 12. In fact, it's pretty much 12s across the board. Uh, so what we've got, concentration, consistency. I imagine pretty consistent at the back. I'm going to say like a 17. Decisions is also a 12. So it's 12s till flare now. Anyone know how dirty Dean is on the pitch? Keep it clean, guys. I'm going to say like a... I mean, you're quite aggressive. So I'm going to say like a 16, 17. I'm going to say 17 just so it's not a 16. Uh, flare is pretty low. I saw that as a... Yeah, it's a 4. Important matches... I mean, what's the leadership? That's That tends to determine. That's a 12. So I'm going to say like a 14 for important matches. That sounds about right. So 12 for leadership. And then movement, uh, which is off the ball, is a 12. Yep. And again, it's pretty much 12s all the way down now. Uh, until we get to... Here we go. 
it was vision. It was an eight. There we go. And then physical attributes. Acceleration. Four. And then another four. Uh, balance. Eight. Not bad. Sixteen for uh, injury. Oh, no. Sorry. That's a default number. Jumping reach is 16, which again for a centre-back is freaking awesome. Natural fitness, 8. So it's 8, 8, 8, 16. There we are. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so it has given you position scores now, but I don't know why because I've not done this yet. So your primary was centre-back, right? Yeah, so I'm going to put that as a 20. DM. Tempted to put like, maybe like a 14, so just below. Again, guys, you know him better than me. Does he ever, does he play DM often or is that like a... Not dirty, just very strong, John says. There you go, lads, the boss has spoken. So I'll go back and change that. Uh, what was that? That was... Uh, mental, wasn't it? So I'm going to put... I might even put like an 8 for that, you know? Because it is possible to be a very, very good centre-back ball winner and not be considered dirty. I'm going to say like a 20 and a 14. So it should still come up as a, as a DM. It's because you're the second choice keeper. <laughs> well, that's that's made my decision a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to say, I almost want to say ball playing defender here because of the passing stats. So what was it? It was passing of, can't see it now, 12. So yeah, that's kind of ball player. We'll see what the, um, the game says once I've put the stats in here as well. It's got a recommended current ability of 107. That's pretty damn high. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so 182 for the height. Uh, what am I doing that in reputation? Oh god, don't tell me I've done that for other people in reputation. 182, and then 80. Uh, right footed, right footed. So I'm gonna say like uh like a 10 for left foot maybe, and then 20 for right foot. Oh, sorry, whack my microphone again. And then yeah, position. So let's see what it says now. Still nothing there. Do I need to do current and potential? Let's go 106. And then tick that box. Alright, now let's see what it says. There we go. So yeah, 106 for central defender, central defender. 103 for ball playing. That's kind of cool. We'll ignore things like Libero. And um, no nonsense. Because I don't think we'll be worried about no nonsense. And there's the position scores. 106 and 82 for defensive midfielder. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Again, the current ability and everything might change in the future. We will see. Uh, did I forget anything on that one? I don't think I did. So we can move on now to Harry Baker. The club's first striker to be added. Anyone got any insider info on Harry? Um, Northern European from the GC. I've not said that for so long. When I was at secondary school, we used to say, from the GC. God. It used to sound so cool. Now it's just cringy. Some people might still say it, to be honest. Yeah. You don't want to be telling your friends tomorrow that you're watching a stream and the guy started having a midlife crisis. No, no, no. Okay. Well in Garden City. Uh, so we've got a striker who can also play left back or centre back. Which, again, that's like gold dust. You just don't see that. Harry has a really bad hairdo. Ha, <laughs> ha, Sure, you'd be thrilled to hear you say that. 
set to amateur preferred squad number. He is the number nine, so I'm expecting good things. I'm expecting, like, powerful centre forward. Knows where the back of the net is. Can hold the ball up really well. I'm sort of seeing that, looking at the stats. Yeah, I can see that. You guys might beg to differ, but it's kind of there. Uh, right, amateur, that's all set. So now we'll go player... Uh, nope, sorry, stats next. Technical. <clears throat> Excuse me. So corners. Corners is... So it's 8, 8, 8, 12, 8. Oh, not 89, 8, 8, 8, 12, 8. Uh, and then 8, 8, 8, 4, 8. And then uh, from passing onwards, it is 12, 12, 8, 8. Not bad, you know. Not bad. Versatility. I mean, a, a striker who can also play in defence. That's quite versatile. So I'd say like a 14 or a 15. Harry the Hattrick hero. Here's hoping. You know, not that I want to cause arguments amongst the squad or anything, but I'm hoping players bag hat-tricks and things like that. Hopefully no own goals, because that's a kind of embarrassment you'd never live down. But um, yeah, definitely hat-tricks. What have we got here? 12-12-12-8-8. And then consistency, I mean, if he's bagging hat-tricks, he must be pretty consistent. So I'm going to say like around 15 for that for now. Decisions, uh, where are we at? It would help if it actually highlighted the, the line I'm on a lot better. Actually, what I might do, once I've completed a player, I'm going to recolor them, the line, so I know where I'm up to. That's a smart idea. Why didn't I think of that earlier? It's a really smart idea. There we go. So now I just read across the line again. Cool. So um, decisions is... Uh, 8. I think I've got it. Yeah, 8, 12. For determination. Dirtiness. Is he a dirty player at all? I mean... What's his aggression? Aggression of 12. Doesn't necessarily denote a dirty player, of course, but um, an aggression of 12 and a concentration and composure of only 8. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a referee's whistle a lot. Hat-trick of crosses. Well, actually, that, that, that goes into my tactics. Am I going to play a 4-2-3-1 or am I going to play a 4-4-2? If he's good at crossing, it might be worth doing the 4-4-2 and have him as like a um, the, the the striker who runs the channels. Mind you, what's his pace? The striker who walks the channels. All right, dirtiness. I'm going to put like a 12. That's fine. Flair. Uh, 12. And then leadership. So 8, 8, 12, 8, 8, 12. That should be easy to remember after important matches, of course. Let's go with a, like a 14. So it's 8, 8, 12, 8, 8, 12. And then physical. What have we got? 8, 8, 12, 8, 8, 8, 8, 12. Uh, oops. Hang on. Oh, injury proneness. I knew I missed one out. 8888. Eight, eight, eight. And then 12. There we go. Walks the channels. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't run. So. All right, positions, we'll go with uh, striker as 20, and then I think I might just do left-back, centre-back as 10s. What's his tackling again? Eight, yeah. Not not high up the list. 
can play there if needed, but isn't really going to be um, needed in those positions. For loves a hairband. Oh, okay, four two three one is my favourite formation. Like that, I've always built my teams around four two three one primarily. So let's let's have a look at this again. You're not the tallest, six foot. I mean that is tall. Don't get me wrong, six foot. But uh, I think something like maybe an advanced forward pretty strong so it can hold the ball up it's almost a target man maybe a complete forward oh there's the loud planet coaster music again so then to go back to this uh height 180 and then oops wrong number that's that and then it says 60 for your current i think that's a bit harsh compared to some of the others Sock tape as well. Oh, man. Is he the one where you have to go to screw fix, like in the advert, get him an extra roll of tape? So, roll scores. Poacher attack. Pressing forward defend. Support uh, for pressing forward as well. And attack. Eh. There is a bit of target man there. Support and attack. Position scores. I'm just going to ignore these because, to be honest, we know them. Although it's got it's got centre back is only a few behind striker, interesting. Yeah, we got. We, I'd say these are pretty pretty decent positions and roles. Can definitely like poacher is one of my favourites in the lower leagues for sure. So I can see that coming into play. All right, next up. Next up is Nathan Studholm. Who again is someone I went to school with. And I remember him being lightning quick back in the day. So I'm expecting, fully expecting that to be the same now. Okay. Uh, ethnicity. Uh, yeah. I figured Northern European, but I just wanted to check because the last thing I want to do is assume. Date of birth. Where are we at? Uh, really? Okay, apparently that's the case. I thought, I think the year might be wrong there. I think the year might be wrong there, but we'll see. Um, I'll leave that for now. I can change that in the future. I think I can change that in the future. I hope I can change that in the future. Might have got faster. Yeah, that's scary. I remember when uh, in a PE lesson once, I did a, um, I was asked by the teacher to time a race between the two fastest people in the year, and he was one of them. I think he won. So quick. Club contract. Hatfield Town. Number seven. You know you've got a speedy winger when they're asking for the number seven. Takes balls to ask for the number seven. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the stats. Actually, pace has gone down. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, technical. What have we got then? Pretty high across the board to begin with. We're starting off with five twelves, six twelves. I think he might be poached first. Heading. Oh dear. Heading not so high. Uh, and then it goes eight four eight, and then twelves again. And then versatility. I mean, what positions can you play? Actually, that's quite versatile. Yeah, that's quite versatile. I'm going to say like a 16 for that. Actually, no, 14. Being a bit too generous. Alright, aggression. That's quite low. 
You kind of expect that. I mean, I, I said earlier about aggressive wingers. Not The great thing about wingers is they don't need to get into fights. You know, they can just sprint past people. Or they can do some tricks and flicks and all sorts of things. It's No, it's picking your battles. That's the key. Uh, I think it was a 12 for concentration. I'm not concentrating, clearly. Uh, consistency, I want you to be consistent. I'm going to say a 15, because I want you to be consistent, even if you might not necessarily be in real life. Decisions. That's all we got. 12, 12, 12 again. I'm going to put dirtiness quite low, but again, someone correct me there if I have got that wrong. Flare is also a 12, and then it's 4, 4, 8, 12, 12, 12. What have I got wrong? Oh, important match. Oh, derp. That's going to be... So hang on. Let me finish these. So it's 4, 8, 12. Oops. 12. And then a 12 at the bottom. And then uh, important matches is I, I need him to turn up but doesn't necessarily mean he will turn up i'm going to put a 14 for that as well i mean again in non-league football you got to remember saying turn up just means be good on the day because some players obviously can't turn up because they've got other commitments uh acceleration so where are we at F 8 12 12 4 and then 12-8-12-12. Have I missed something again? Oh, injury proneness. Oh, for God's sake. So that's 10. And then it's 4. 12. 8. And then 12. And then a 12. So that's all that done. Now we'll do position score. and oh, no, position scores. We'll do positions. So right midfielder, left midfielder. You can also play right wing back and left wing back. So let's go. I'm going to put like 15s for both sets of midfield, attacking and normal midfield. Basically just a, a wide utility man. And I'm going to put 10s for the wing backs. Why is centre back so high? Oops. And striker. Why was striker on here? Why is it? What is this thing doing? Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm going to go with winger as a preferred, preferred position. It keeps adding. I don't know why it's doing this. I might just put strike. Okay, hang on. I'm going to put striker as like a 10 just so it stops doing that. And I might just put center back as like a 5 or something just so it stops doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I need to change some things here. So height. And weight. Uh, and then left foot, right foot. So you are right footed. But I'm going to put like 12, 13 for left foot. Just so there is something. Maybe a 12, not too high. I've heard Hatfield left back is pretty good. Have you now? Oh, yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. Uh, one second, guys. I'm just getting a message on my phone. I need to reply to you quickly. Just enjoy the music for a second. putting my food order in.
Yeah, I see what you mean, Zach, about the left back. Very, very good. Plenty of potential. Pretty quick, too. Looking forward to seeing how that goes. Alright, so my food order is in. Basically, when my food arrives, this stream is going to be uh, finishing, I think. So, anyone who I don't get done in the uh, in the stream now, I will do off camera. Ow. I've got a phone stand where you have to, it's like on a spring and you have to pull it open to put your phone in. And if your hand slips like mine does a lot, it basically snaps your finger. Really hurts. Alright. Uh, current and then potential... So, what is it doing with this? Can I turn this off now? Is it going to keep doing this? It re Why is it doing that? I want to have a look at position scores. And roll scores. So, roll scores, it's got wide playmaker for midfield. Wide midfielder. Invert oh, I think I know why it's doing that. I think you have to have one position be a 20. So for that reason, I'm going to put this one as a 20. Now I think I can... Yeah. There you go. i got to bear that in mind for future reference now then. W one position has to be a standout. It has to be a 20. Uh, you did put... I mean, you put right left wing. Maybe I can put two as 20s. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Uh, so, yeah, go back to roll scores. It's got midfield left, wide playmaker support as the highest. I don't quite know how it calculated that. Also inside forward, which I really enjoy. Uh, if we've got someone who can play left wing back, which we do, that'd be awesome. Because then they can do the overlap. And then position scores, a lot more manageable. That's a lot more palatable as well. Much better. Alrighty, guys. So, that is... Uh, I haven't forgotten anything here, have I? I've put in height. I've put in weight. I've put in right foot, left foot. Potential, current, all that good stuff. So, now we move on to the next person, who is Ethan Tuttle, who I've heard good things about. Um, who's also a centre-back. So we're going to be pretty crowded at the back. In fact, there's two more, there's two centre backs in a row now. Although they can both play right back as well. It's a nice problem to have. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. So we've got Ethan. I think I'm spelling. Hang on, let me just check. I'm spelling the surname right. Yep, yeah, good. Uh, so you are... White British, Northern European. We'll go with like a number three for this. Oh, this is the date of birth that makes me the most depressed, I think. Actually, no. No, we've had a couple of, who are younger. But yeah. It's sad. Sad for me. If you're younger than me, you might not feel the pain as much, but yeah. Uh, 14th. And place of birth is Welling Garden City. Nice, another local boy. Hatfield. Squad number of 21. Actually, I wonder if has anyone taken my number? I don't think they have. I'm number 22. If I was to play, of course. My favourite number is 22. In fact, I'm wearing a shirt right now with the number 22 on the back. Alrighty. Um, we'll go straight to the technical stats. So, 4, 8, 8, 4, 12.
Um, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12. Four eight eight four twelve eight twelve four eight twelve Yeah and then uh eight twelve twelve I thought I'd missed one out then I did miss one out So it's what twelve twelve eight twelve twelve eight Ah I missed out at 12. So that one's an 8. Correct. And then 12, 12. And then versatility. I wouldn't say hugely versatile. Centre back who can also play right back. I mean, that's pretty valuable. But I wouldn't say... I'd say like a... Uh, I'm going to say 11 for that. Because it's not, not the most versatile. And then mental... We've got uh, 8, 8, 12, 12, 12. And then consistency. Uh, we don't have, but I'm going to say like a 14, maybe a 15. Decisions. Determination. Are both. Uh, hang on. 8, 12. Dirtiness. Anyone know how dirty Ethan is on the pitch? I'm going to say, I mean, what's the aggressiveness? The aggressiveness is quite low. I wouldn't say that's a sign of someone who's a, who's a dirty player. I'm going to put like, maybe like an 8 or a 9. I'm going to say a 9. Uh, flair. 4. Important matches. Probably like a 16. Something like that. And then... Uh, 8, 8, 8, 12, 8, 12. There we are. And then physical. Uh, 12, 8, 12, 12. Oh, wait. I did it again. Injury proneness. It's a 10. Jumping reach is a 12. And then um, it's another 12. 12, 8, 12, 8. There we are. Go back to general quickly. Uh, actually, no. Positions quickly. So centre back. I'm going to say 20. Now, how fast were you? Two. So I'm gonna say like a like a twelve maybe for right back. And then for this, what's your passing? Passing is it's twelve actually, that's quite high. I might go with just a central defender. How are we looking here then? Not bad. Uh, so now I can put some numbers in here. So first of all, height is 185. 6 foot 2, 6 foot 1 to 6 foot 2. Weight, uh, 81. And then you're right foot. Yeah, you're right footed. So I'm going to say like a 10 for left and a 20 for right. And then to go back to this, 77 it's recommending. And then tick that box. So according to this, uh, roll scores, centre back set to defend and a ball playing defender set to defend. That's actually what I was going for with that. So that's I'd say that's pretty damn good if you ask me. Yeah, can't complain about that at all. Um, and not far behind it, in fact, are central defenders and ball playing defenders set to stopper. Which I can definitely see him rushing out, making some challenges, and also set to cover. Pretty happy with them, too. Uh, so it, this is all set up now, isn't it? So that's all done. Club contract, I think, is done. So we'll move on to the next person. 
who is Freddie Newman, the club's uh, first right back to be added. I think. Yes. I see how, I'm just looking back at this by the way, Harry set himself as a, a defender with the primary position of striker. It's quite interesting. Right, Freddie Newman. Whoops. Uh, those of you who filled in the form by the way and it included a photo, I'm debating whether to use that photo or whether to use uh, if there's any photos of you guys in kits playing uh, African Caribbean I mean I don't know how yeah, we're going to have to go down this end of the spectrum aren't we uh, some of the photos you guys sent in though I really wish I could use like now I will have to format them all as well like crop them down a bit very very good Uh, from London. Oh no, date of birth first. I misread that then. I misread that. Uh, September. There we are. And then place of birth, London. So that's all that bit done. Now we've got... Field. Uh, amateur. I think I remembered to set that up for everyone else. If not, I'll go back and change that. Uh, I've got the in-game editor as well, so I can make little tweaks here and there without having to do huge changes. Uh, preferred number of two, as is the way for a right back. It's pra practically the law. Technical attributes then. What have we got? Uh, 44888. And then 4124412. Um, so what's that? 424412. And then 88128. And then versatility. What's your thing? Central defender who can also play right back. Um. Again, I might I might put you down as like a like a fourteen or a thirteen, something like that. Maybe a thirteen. Don't really have many thirteens. I don't believe in the whole thirteen being an unlucky number thing. Thirteen's a perfect number for us a, a second choice goalkeeper, to be honest. That's how I always do things. I'm a bit of a traditionist, so one is first choice and thirteen second choice. Although sometimes it does swap round, of course. Uh, twelve, 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 twelve. Wow. <laughs> Mental attributes very strong here. 12, 12, 12, 12. And then two more, three more 12s. Uh, after the consistency of, I'm going to say 14, and then another 12. And then determination is uh, also a 12. And then it's, f I mean, dirtiness. What have we got for dirtiness? Pretty aggressive. 12, uh, but good composure and good concentration. So I'm saying quite low. I'm saying like a 10. Flare is 4. So 4, 12, 8. Uh, and then movement. So have I missed a number again? So I've got 4 for flare. Oh, important matches, of course. I'll keep that as a 12. Why not? So another 12 for leadership. And then off the ball slash movement is an 8. So 8, 12, 12, 8, 12. Cool. And then physical. Where are we at? Acceleration. Ah. This is where it goes a bit. Well, it's still not bad, to be honest. Uh, injury proneness. And then 12. Fitness. 8, 8, 8, 12. 
Still not bad. I mean, I'm not knocking anyone for sure. Everyone here is fitter than me. Right, centre back. 12. I might put you slightly higher for right back. Though we do, no, we do have right backs. No, we do, yeah, we do have right backs. Why did I think we didn't have right backs? I don't know. We do have right backs, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, in that case, I'll put you as like a 12 maybe for, for right back. Seems good. And then I'll put you at... Uh, what's your passing? Pretty low. I think like a... You, I th I'd almost say no nonsense, to be honest. No nonsense centre back. That sounds pretty good to me. We'll jump back to here. So height one eight one. Definitely no nonsense centre back when you're one eight one. Uh and then are you left footed or right footed? Right footed, good stuff. So again on like a ten and a twenty. And then for this, 75 it's got it as. It's not bad. Some of the higher rated players are worrying me already as to how long they're going to stay for. For roles then, central defender, set to defend, stop, uh, stopper and covering first. And then we've also got no nonsense centre backs a little bit further down. I'd say that's about right as well. That's again what I was going for. Okay, I have put everything in here, haven't I? I think so. So now next player. Which is Lewis Murray, second choice goalkeeper. But the first goalkeeper I'm adding. Who's the other goalkeeper? It is Kieran Extens. Extens? Extens. Don't. I've no idea if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Um, so, Lewis, you are Northern European. I, that is right, isn't it? There is no other one that covers Britain. We are basically North European, aren't we? The only countries north of us are, what, Finland, Sweden, Norway, <laughs> Greenland, and Iceland. I think they're the only ones. Uh... Skin tone five, feeling a bit generous. Got this. Uh, this music outside of Kerbal Space Program actually comes across across quite eerie. It's not even from Kerbal Space Program. It's it was created outside of the game for. Um, just open source music. Open source? That's can't be no royalty free music. Use your words, Mark. Right, Wedding Garden City. Club contract. Hatfield Town. Amateur preferred number thirteen. If you want to know what the music is that's playing, by the way, it should be running across the top of the screen. So it's got artist, title, and um, album. Uh, just looking across at... So the goalkeepers are a little bit different to the rest of the players, but because I didn't want to do a separate form for goalkeepers, you all filled in the same form. Um, but there are goalkeeper-specific uh, stats that I'm going to kind of make up on the spot, maybe with the help of you guys. Uh... Yeah. So, uh, am I forgetting to fill something in here? I don't think I am. No. Pretty sure I'm not. So, I can move on to the next bit, which is... Technical attributes. So, these are going to be pretty low for goalkeepers. So, um, that's to be expected. But I, I did used to have a goalkeeper that took free kicks and corners for me. Pretty good at them, too. And it wasn't a goalkeeper I made. It was one that I signed. Just really good at set pieces for some reason. 4-4-8-4-8. Uh, four, four, eight, four, eight. And then 4-4-4-12-4. Four, 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 four. Uh, 
Uh, and then passing... 8, 4, 8, 8. And again, it looks low, but it really isn't. Versatility, I'm going to say like 13. Why not? It's your squad number. Mental attributes. Now, these do play into a goalkeeper's uh, style of play. So we've got 4, 4, 12, 4. Um, 4, 8, 12, 4. Uh, we've got consistency first. I'm going to say like a 13 for that as well. So 4, 8, 12. And then dirtiness. I mean, it's really low aggression. So I'm going to say like a 10. In fact, I'm going to say like an 8. And then a 4 for flair, was it? Yeah. And then 12, 8, 8, 8, 4, 8. I missed out important matches again. That was really annoying. I did that a lot. I might keep that at 12, actually. So, 12, 8, 8, 8, 4, 8. 4, 8. Here we are. And then physicals. Uh, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Eight, 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 eight. There we are. Easy peasy. So, these are the goalkeeper only stats. You've got aerial ability, command of area, communication, eccentricity, handling, kicking, one on ones, reflexes, rushing out, tendency to punch, and throwing. Uh, any ideas, anyone, or am I going to literally make it up as I go along? I'm happy to do either. I could just use a random number generator, I suppose, for this. Do it between, f like, I don't know, 6 and 12. 6 and 16, maybe. Maybe 6 and 16, to be generous. Oh, did I just close something really important on my phone? Nope. Not from there anyway, and not from there either. Cool, right. I, I reckon a random number generator. Between 6 and 16. Okay, so we got 14 for uh, aerial ability. Eight for command of area. Again, these might sound unrealistic, but I guarantee you there are professional goalkeepers with stats like this as well. Plus, if what I've been told is correct, then this is the second choice goalkeeper. So, I had that before though, where I had two goalkeepers that I created and I wanted one to be first choice, one to be second choice, and it ended up being the other way around. Sometimes it's just the way the dice rolls. Nine. Thirteen. Eight. The higher, the more accurate is quality. Okay. Not at all biased then, Lewis. Uh, another eight. A seven for tendency to punch, so you're going to try and catch it a lot more. That's good. You're not going to be Edward Mendy then. And then a 16 here for throwing. That's really good actually for throwing. Might have to lower that. Um, we've got to do height and weight now. Good height for a goalkeeper. you left footed or right footed? Right footed. I might put this quite low for like an 8 and then a 20 for right foot. And then positions. Um, you are a goalkeeper. Uh, 
I think for this, you're just going to be a bog standard goalkeeper, to be honest. Why has everything else got a number to it? Don't know. Uh, so, yeah, going back to general, 61 it's recommending. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, your roll scores then. Goalkeeper set to defend and then sweeper keeper set to defend, support and attack, respectively. I think you've got a good roll of the dice there. I think you've done all right there. All right, next up is, uh, is it Javier? Javier? Oh, wrong thing. Uh, and he's he's the right back. Gotcha. So there's Javier. Uh, you are Caribbean. So we'll go. I think maybe nineteen. There or thereabouts. Uh, date of birth. And in place of birth, London. Nice, nice. Club. Hatfield. What number did you choose? 15. That's an alright number for a right back, I suppose. Not my preference. Uh, amateur. There we are. And then down to technical. So where are we at? 4444 four, 8. And then 488 4, And then versatility, where well, you're right back, you can also play right midfield. I'd say that's about 12. Mental. 88484. Um, 4, 8, 12, 12, 12. So on consistency, and then 4. 8, 12, 12, 12. And then 8, 12, 8, 12. Except I missed out important matches. I'll put a 12 for that as well. Why not? Uh, I also did dirtiness wrong, I think. Hang on. What was Flair supposed to be? Flair was... Oh, no. Flair was a 12. Uh, off the ball and leadership was supposed to both be 12s though, so that's where I can catch up. Okay, positioning is an 8, 8, 12, 8, 12. There you go, and then physicals. Uh, acceleration, so we've got 12, 8, 4. Oh, I think my food's here, guys. So we'll be wrapping up after this. Uh, 8124, 8, 12, 12, 12, 8. Wait. Oh, injury proneness, Mark. Come on. You've done this before. So that's an 8. And then this one's a 12. And then this one's an 8. There we go. Uh, right. That's all the attributes there done, isn't it? So if I go back to general now. No, wait, sorry. If I go to positions now. You are a uh, right back. who can also play right midfield. So I'm going to do like a 20. And then, I mean, you're pretty pretty quick. I'm going to say like a 15 for midfield right as well. Kind of like that. I think that works. Um, 
for this, I'm going to do just a simple... Actually, mm, Yeah, I'm just going to say fullback. Not very aggressive, so just a fullback. I'm cool with that. So now up here, we're going to go with a uh, height of 177. Weight. Not reading that out still. And then you're right footed. Yep. So we'll go like, I don't know, 8 for the, uh, the left foot and 20 for the right foot. I'm literally making up random numbers, by the way. He might be better with his left foot. Who knows? Uh, and then for current ability, only 47. Why is it recommending such a low... Hmm. That mo that one might get bumped up in the game, you know. I think that's really low. Anyway, guys, my food is here, so it is time for me to end the stream. I've been going for three hours, 15 minutes, so it's been quite a long time. I'm going to stop my recording first. There we are. Uh, thank you, everyone who's joined the stream. Whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on YouTube, uh, thank you very much. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button or that follow button, be sure to do so. It would be very much appreciated. Uh, and the next stream, I'd like it to be sometime this weekend. If not, it will be uh, next weekend and there will be a video, pre-recorded video going out on Tuesday of me doing the initial setup actually in the game. So off camera, I'm going to finish putting the players in. Uh, don't worry, I haven't. I'm not going to forget anyone. I'll do quick shout out so you have heard your name on the stream. Actually, I've got halfway through. That's pretty good. So we've got Jake Christie, Tim Evans, uh, Darren Thompson, Darren Thompson, Kieran Extents, Lee Newman, Juan Pablo Gonzalez Velasco, Zach Argent, Diego Ruiz, uh, Seamus Kowick, Kowick, uh, Name Raman Lewis, and Callum Moriarty, which is an awesome name as well, by the way. Still to go. Uh, so thank you guys for watching as I said hit the follow button hit the like button drop some comments down below as well If you'd like to thank you the guys in the chat for keeping things interesting and fun. I'm going to turn the uh, the music off That should turn off I don't know why that hasn't turned off That should have turned off. Oh, well, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for oh now it's turned off brilliant Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I will see you soon.